Dude, I'm gonna be honest about uh, this song, like, specifically. Fucking uh, Shadows Over Loathing has no right to have a song that's that much of a fucking bop in a goddamn, like, comedy game, dude. I'm, I'm just gonna say it, alright? I'm just gonna say it. Ain't no right to be as good as it is. Ain't no right. Goes too hard. Yeah, all these songs I'm playing right now from Shadows. Pretty good stuff. That Ryan Ike doesn't fucking miss, dude. I'm just saying. Just, I'm just saying. But, uh, yeah. Something bad happened. Yesterday, something bad happened. Something bad happened. Chilla posted a game online on Steam again. They had received a goddamn letter from the president asking them, begging them not to do it again. It was well documented that that happened. And they ignored it. They ignored the request. The goddamn president asked. The president of gaming themselves. Nah, well, it wasn't Joe. It was the president of gaming. He begged. John Gaming. Chat, you gotta remember though that if like the last name is all you need to be immediately the leader of like some kind of faction, that's uh, I, I'm not sure that's fair. Cause like I wasn't born with the last name gaming. When it when, when's my chance to be the president of gaming? Where's my chance? Destiny's a load of bullshit. All right. Just like Doug Bowser. Literally born for this. Born for this moment. Born for this moment. They totally changed their name. Come on, bro. You think? <laughs> you think? But yeah. Uh, the new game is about karaoke. That'll be fun. The new game also has... Uh, I'm not gonna listen. All right <laughs> There's content warnings that Chilla feels like they need to inform people on and then there's the massive content warnings that The people who have played the game feel like people need to be aware of so When we get closer to the game I will be covering some content warnings that people may be uncomfortable with I expect people to behave in the chat. I expect Chilla to handle all these things expertly and beautifully and competently, in the most graceful way possible, without doing anything tasteless, or really just ma like really fumbling the landing really hard. <laughs> They're gonna be fine. There's no way Chilla. There's no way Chilla fucks this up. Like I'm looking at some of these warnings. I'm looking at one of the ones in all caps, and I'm not sure Chilla's gonna be able to do this. But we gotta give them a chance. I believe in them. I believe in them. As a, a as a true hardcore chilla fan, I'm out here. Is this the AI streamer? No, but this may be an AI game developer. <laughs> It's possible, dude. Rude. <laughs> Listen, I'm allowed to dump on Chilla as much as I goddamn want. I play all their games. I pay them for every single one of them. <laughs> Legally, I'm allowed to. Chilla, if you're ever listening to this, uh, I'm sorry for all the relentlessly mean things I say about you. I, I play your games every single time they come out. Uh, but you gotta be, you gotta be... You gotta know they're kind of schlock, right? You gotta. You gotta, right? You gotta. They're an AI. They do not care. You think? You could say you are his number one fan. 
Dude, I mean, I'm here on ground zero every time. I'm here on ground zero every time Chilla does something, dude. I'm out here. There's another game we might play as well if this one ends up being... I, I think this is like a two or so hour game. Uh, I'm not... I'm probably not... Like, I, I know I didn't stream yesterday or the day before. It's one hour. Okay, we'll probably do something after, because I have another game called Interference Dead Air, which is like a security booth simulator story game. We'll do it after. I'm not planning on doing like a five or six hour stream or anything, uh, because um, I don't fucking want to today. Uh, I'm tired. I had to... Dude, I went to get that nerve thing done for my hand, and uh, they got me almost immediate results live. Uh, my nerve is weird, but I'm not experiencing any, uh, muscle problems. So, apparently, uh, response fully still pending for my actual doctor, and, like, the true reading, but, uh, like, the true report, but I don't think I need to have- Apparently, uh, that person who put me in for fucking surgery was insane, because, uh, the doctor that did the procedure for me on Thursday was, like, what? They wanted you to go to surgery right away? They got like actually stun locked for a second and then like tried to play it cool and just kept doing the thing. That was wild. <laughs> it's wild. The classic surgery scam. Yeah, funny that I have apparently very little actual problem here aside from a very minor tingling and they want to cut open my elbow, move an entire nerve out of the way of my whole elbow, put it somewhere else, and then have me enjoy uh, the recovery of not being able to lift, I believe, even a full cup of water for a couple months is what they wanted me to do off of uh, tingling in my pinky. Yes, man. Very good. They wanted to take my funny bone. <laughs> how would I? And how in the hell would I do my job without that then? That's what I told them. So true. I'm here for the boat. You guys don't have to say it like that. You guys don't. You don't have to say it like that. <laughs> you can just say true. You don't have to incorporate anything about the bone <laughs> at any point during this. Just so you know. Dude, it was fucking cold last night, man. What the fuck? Every day in my in my room, I'm reminded of the fact that I have a fireplace that I don't use. But uh that doesn't and like it's a real fireplace. Uh but I don't have I don't have any like wood to put in it. So instead what it is is a cool passageway for cold air to get into my room. It's like, a, it, unless you use it, it's instead a nice pass for the air to get in. So, halfway through the night, why are you tomato dot dot dotting? It's not like I have a fucking choice. <laughs> it's not, like, this isn't like some, this isn't like some fuck up on my bar. It's just the way the house works. Punish that person. But what I'm saying is, um, I had to, I had to crank up my heat to like my heat basically trying to reach a heat like a temperature of 80 in my room so that I could break even at night at 63 in my room. It was it was a it was a rough time in there. It was fucking cold in my room. It was bad. 63 is an ideal temp though. I keep my office around 69. <laughs> yes. 
Yes. It's just what I'm most used to. I could, it can go lower, but the problem is that my hands and feet don't circulate the same way the rest of my body does. So if my, if the room isn't at 69 or so, my fingers and toes are so fucking cold that they could be removed from my body without me noticing. Uh, so I, I, I keep it at 70-ish. Or I will never recover. Yes, diagnose me with every syndrome you want after I told you that. Yes, chat. Post whichever question mark. It's this, this disease question mark. Go ahead. Send them my way. Yes. Cancer? Yeah, that's what I freaking thought. That's what I freaking thought, you know? I think it's Crohn's. The, um, I think I've seen, I don't think I've seen one person in chat since I like talked about having it. Spell it right. <laughs> And they all spell it differently. Every single one of them. They're all doing it different. Why don't you have some goddamn respect and learn about my debilitating illness now? Dude, I'll tell you what though, I've pivoted towards drinking a lot more like smoothies and stuff like that because I found that like I have been having like mild issues. Actually, not even exactly mild, just situations in the last like month or so. I've been drinking a lot more smoothies and holy heck, dude, smoothies are pretty good. Yo, smoothies is, is pretty good. No shit. What about milkshakes? Ah, uh, no. Smoothies. Lots of high calorie, high nutrition, concentrated juice directly into my bloodstream. Isn't liking smoothies a symptom of something? Dude, sometimes my knee cracks weird. Is that a symptom of something? I stood up once and my back hurt really bad. Am I dying? I'm pretty sure it's all... My eye itches right now. Do I have eye problem? It's the gunk. <laughs> what the fuck is the gunk? That sounds like a- I would rather my doctor come in and tell me I have any disease on this fucking planet, but if he walks in, he says, You have the gunk. Holy shit. What? I have the gunk? The gunk. The gunk? I don't want the gunk. Gotta get gunk boosters. See, these fucking Cruelty Squad jokes are always fun until I have to remember that Cruelty Squad hasn't had an update in two years now, and... Well, I want more content, and I, it's a finished game, so I can't even complain about it, and it just makes me sad. Because I played, like, so much of that game, and I can't go back to it. Yet. <sighs> it doesn't need one go play hyperkill. Shut your goddamn mouth. I hate you. I bet hyperkill's lame. I don't even see it when I look it up because it doesn't fucking exist. Did you mean to say ultra kill? You fucking moron. Which is a totally different kind of game. 
I hate you! And I'm taking this personally. And I've taken this personally and will carry it away from the stream after this and never forget it. That you're going in my book of grudges for that one. Hang on, I gotta go grab a pen so I can write this down. All right, I've, I, 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 I've unsheathed the fucking pen. Now, now look what you've made me do. Now look what you fucking made me do. Now I gotta add you to the frickin' naughty list. <laughs> but yeah, I meant ultra kill. Oh, okay. Well, then uh, let me just... Now, now that I know you weren't fucking with me, and you were just wrong. Let's cross that out. See that you don't do that again. <laughs> now, see that you don't do something like that ever again. He hates typos and errors. I that I do. <clears throat> but what about Death Loop? Dude, shut the fuck up. Crap game. I'm glad that a lot of people that liked Death Loop at like the launch have finally like stepped back and been like, oh wait. It wasn't that good. It was fine. Fine to bad is where I think most people I've land I land Deathloop on the if I had to actually say like critically observe Deathloop as a game I would put it on okay not even fine just okay and the thing is I have so many good games to play that it's a goddamn shame I put so much time into Deathloop and finished it because I should have clocked that it was okay a lot sooner but it, it's this game that fucking tricks you into playing it all the way through. And then the payoff is nothing. L true 5 out of 10 game. Much unlike Prey, a true 9 out of 10 game. They made Prey too good, I fear. Dude, that might be the... <laughs> it, they made it too good. Nothing else will ever achieve it. It was too good. Something's wrong. What about Redfall? I, didn't, I saw they posted gameplay of that. Uh, but I didn't look it up because I didn't care. I don't think I care about it. I mean, if it ends up good, great, I'll play it. Deathloop being bad and Dishonored not really being my thing beyond playing like a psycho maniac run um, isn't enough for me to ever be like, I hate Arcane and I won't play their games anymore. They failed me. So if Redfall is good, I'll play it. You know? I'm more interested in the forest sequel coming out later this month. Oh, I'm. Oh, yeah. No, that's an instant day one play. That's instant. And if it sucks. <laughs> if it sucks, uh, people are going to get. Uh, people are going to be in a lot of trouble. Okay. I don't know. That wasn't a threat. That was more just like a, I my I'll be in trouble because I'll probably continue to play it for another couple hours, anyways, and I'll probably not enjoy it as much. And that's trouble for me. That's trouble for my evening.
The cave dads live again. There is not a- you couldn't pay me to play the first fucking session of the forest, or even my first playthrough of the forest in multiplayer, dude. No way. Absolutely no fucking way. No way. No way. It's gonna be so fucking crowded and confusing and people are gonna find things way too fast and they're gonna fucking steamroll the monsters and there's gonna be no suspense. It's gonna be funny, but I wanna actually enjoy the atmosphere and the survival aspects. You know what I mean? At the very least in the first game, you didn't even have to make a base to beat it in fucking co-op. You could just bum rush the objectives as fast as you could. We didn't have a base. Boomer take TBH. A uh, Zoomer fucking chat message TBH, dude. Freaking idiot Zoomer chat message. What do you, what what do you mean boomer take? Is it is it wrong to want to preserve my first playthrough of a game to be something that I can enjoy with chat with like the actual intended suspense of it? Because I'll tell you what, forest and co-op is fun. But you definitely lose a lot of the atmosphere and, like, horror aspects when you're playing it with another guy. Like, another idiot dad. <laughs> who's just sitting there staring at you with an axe the whole time. And who can die infinitely. Yeah, but it's funny. Yeah, but it'll be just as funny when I do it solo for the stream, too. Chat. You have to remember this. You have to remember this. Well, yeah, I, I like streaming things. I always try to do what's funniest. I also do need to take into account the fact that I also want to enjoy this. Uh, and thus, I'm going to play it in the format that's most fun for me to actually enjoy it myself because I only get to play through it once. And I'm actually excited to play it. And that means something to me. So I'm not going to do it with other people on my first playthrough. I'm just not going to fucking do that. I don't owe you a multiplayer playthrough of the game, you know? I don't owe you that. Maybe I do a multiplayer thing after the first session. That's something that I would leave open. But I'm not about to pre-plan on doing, like, a multiplayer playthrough of a game when I know that when I played through the forest, I enjoyed it a lot more when I was alone than when I was with multiple people. And unfortunately, my first playthrough of the forest was with multiple people in the dad squad. <clears throat> that on-stream playthrough we did all those years ago was my first exposure to the forest. Uh, so that's why I don't want to do that for Forest 2, because that was a lot of fun, but I did not really get to fucking enjoy it. As a game. You know? You don't even deliver on the things you do owe, Tomato. Katie's wallet bereft of $2. It's literally never happening. Tomato hates playing games with his friends. I just know better than to... I know my boundaries, and I know exactly what I want to do with my stream, and how much I want to actually do stuff with friends, and how much I want to actually prioritize my own solo content. And that... ain't a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Some people, some streamers want to do more multiplayer stuff. I usually limit myself to one multiplayer stream a week, if that, because, uh, one, it's what's most comfortable for me. I like doing stuff with chat. I don't really, like, I don't, enjoy, I feel like I get distracted really easily if I'm doing a lot of multiplayer, unless it's like a one, like a one more person in it. And even then, sometimes it's a lot. And simultaneously, uh, I don't feel like I, I don't like the idea of relying on my friends for content. Dave and I have a great dynamic, but it's like, I'm not going to do stuff with Dave all the time, even though I'm sure he'd love to do stuff with me all the time on stream. Like, I don't, I actively choose not to do that. 
I'd rather make sure that my content can stand on its own and proceed to do most things by myself. You know? Does that make sense? Just since I guess some people may have misinterpreted me uh, saying I wasn't going to play with friends as like, I don't like my friends. So it's like, no, it's like an actual like business decision sometimes. It's like, I want to make sure that I am actively the show of my stream. <laughs> and that might sound douchey and selfish, but it's like, I feel like that is a really important thing as a streamer to make sure you are on your own platform. Is the person people are, you know, there for. Does that make sense? He hates Dave. Chat, I absolutely adore every chance I get to spend with Dave. He's like easily one of my best friends in the world. All right, but it'd also be really easy to make this the Tomato and Dave stream for the rest of my goddamn life, and uh, then people would never shut the fuck up about where is Dave uh, all the time. You know? I don't like that dynamic. I actually loathe that dynamic. Of, be, of like having my stream feel like it's something where I am like part of a two-person show, you know? Hang on, did someone say something cringe? I have to know, dude. If if I see Katie ban someone and call them an idiot, I need to know what they said instantly. <laughs> 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 First time viewer, last time viewer, tomato rant about your ego more. Is it my ego to have a career built off of like a solo show of mine that I run and wanting to curate that and make sure that it is the main priority of my platform? I'm not sure that's ego. I think that's just smart business. <laughs> Bye, dude. Bye. Goodbye. Massive ego. He wants to stream by himself on his channel called Tomato. What is this guy fucking psycho or something? <laughs> I just know how easy it is to get into the cycle of doing a lot of multiplayer stuff. And it's just not my comfort zone. Like, if, like, there's a mix of it that's like, yeah, I know that, uh... It's beneficial for me to do more of my own stuff, but it's also just not my comfort zone to do a lot of multiplayer things. So, if people were just assuming I was going to do the forest, the new one with people, I'm sorry. I never said that I was going to do it multiplayer. First time viewer, last time viewer. <laughs> Tomato rants too much about his ego and treats chat badly for real. <laughs> <laughs> That person, that person's joking. They, uh, that is, <laughs> it's not their first chat message. But, yeah. I also don't like the idea. Like, I don't know. I, I like talking about this stuff because I feel like it at least keeps chat in the loop why I don't, like, do a lot of stuff with my friends all the time. Because I don't like just omitting information and, like, not talking about stuff. If there's at least one thing that everyone can be relatively confident in, it's that I don't really fucking bullshit my reasoning for doing things on Twitch. Uh, I try to be extremely, extremely transparent. Uh, cause I think it, uh, helps people know what is actually the thought process behind what I'm doing. You know? And also I think that transparency helps people from, uh, formulating an incredibly unhealthy parasocial relationship with me. Uh, which is... Uh, good for me and my comfort on the stream. But my 
Nice dreamer kin! <laughs> we had a soul bond! <gasps> streamer, please! <laughs> I played your stream at my wedding. Streamer, I beg of you. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hairs down, hey Arthur style shrine. Dude, chat, come on, chat. We're still, we're still cool. We're still cool. Everything's still cool, guys. So much bubble gum. I do not chew gum. If you got gum that you thought was chewed by me anywhere, I'll tell you what, that wasn't. I haven't chewed gum my whole fucking life. <laughs> not once. I'm going to garlic gaming. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what you'll find out there? Garlic Gaming was always me, motherfucker! It's always been me. Always. But he's funny. Okay, come on. <laughs> okay, come on, not fair. Okay, relax. Okay. But yeah, you know, it's actually like, dude, the last week of February going into uh, March and the whole month of March is fucking genuinely packed with games that I'm like streaming. Like, it's actually like, people get excited for like November. Like a lot of streamers like, November, dude, that's when all the games come out. But like, for me, it's like, Oh yeah, March? <laughs> You're telling me Do Not Feed the Monkeys 2099 comes out in March? Motherfucker? You're kidding me, dude. You know I'm out here playing that day one. You know I'm out here playing the new Do Not Feed the Monkeys. Instantly. Instantly. Without hesitation. Dredge? March 29th. You know I'm gonna be out here playing Dredge. Day one on March 29th. Freaking, there's more than that. Don't worry, I'm just scrolling through all my fucking wish list stuff. Contraband police? An actually somewhat competent Papers Please-esque simulator game? The demo for it was actually great. That comes out on March 8th. Dragon's Dogma 2, I have early access directly from Capcom. March 10th, motherfucker, March 10th. It's real. I, that really happened. That's, that's real. <laughs> that one happened too, for sure. He's lying, he's not lying. I'm, I mean, I mean, I'm not lying. Are you going to play Atomic Heart? Chat. I have to I have to word things carefully because I don't want to come off like a bad guy or like a mean guy. Okay. But watching the gameplay of Atomic Heart, uh I saw them shoot and blast a robot and it did not react to damage. Uh and they backpedaled for about 30 seconds while every robot simply walked directly at them. If I wanted to play Atomic Heart, I'd probably instead launch up Generation Zero again. Or I'd launch up like, I don't know, like Bioshock 2. Or I don't know, maybe I'd launch up freaking, uh, what was that? What was that one? Where I said cringe? Industria? <laughs> Industria? Could probably just play Industria again. 
look, I'm not saying it's going to be bad, but their gameplay tra- A gameplay- If you're going to show gameplay of your fucking game, and your gameplay that you chose as a dev looks like shit, because of like very specific things, I'm not saying it can't be fixed, but it doesn't give me much confidence if the- if it doesn't seem like there's any impact to the combat. That impact is important to me, and everything looks really spongy and really low impact as far as the combat was concerned, and that looks lame. We'll have to see, but I'm not- I'm not guaranteeing I'm gonna play Atomic Heart. <laughs> that shit matters to me. They were using blanks. They were also using like cyber magic and that didn't do anything either. Will you play Among Us? <laughs> I actually almost played Among Us on Wednesday after stream. Uh, the VR one. I almost did. There was a... I'm, I'm, I'm in a streamer discord for like group stuff. I'm in like a streamer discord and uh, I, I, wa I was invited to play Among Us and I did not reply. <laughs> I did not make myself known, but I did think about it. But then I was really tired that night. I didn't get directly invited. <laughs> okay, it, it wasn't like I got a fucking email and they were like, do you want to come in and play freaking Among Us right now? I, I just saw like the group at and I was like, uh, maybe if there's space later and there was, but then I was like, I'm tired. It's Wednesday night. I got stuff going on tomorrow. I'm tired. He will never be so- Dude, I just fucking don't like put- I like VR. I don't like multiplayer VR. Does that make sense? Chat? And it's a totally personal thing. It's just like... I don't like multiplayer VR when I have to actively be doing things. I can do, like, VR chat, hanging out with friends off stream. I can't fucking actively be in there, dude, doing my thing. I just can't. It's too many variables. Because, like, at least when you're in single player in VR, you can take off your headset and everything stops. You know? Are you good? I'm good. Or do you mean, am I good at, like, am I good? Like, morally aligned? Or, like, am I good? physically feeling like, uh, do I feel good? Am I good emotionally? Just imagine Hitman VR with tomato. Well, you can, here's how you can imagine that. Uh, I launch it, I get mad immediately at the physics and the way the controls work and I close it and get angry. I, I've given you the play-by-play -play of that stream if it existed, which it doesn't. VR game of the year, dude. <laughs> VR has not had many good new games come out, chat. I'm getting worried for the industry. I, I, I can't believe I've ever said I'm getting- That's the first time I think I've ever said in my whole life I'm getting worried for the industry. I sound like a fucking old man. There hasn't been like a good VR game, like a fresh game that hasn't been like an early access or something in a long time. Like a lot of the VR games that people would say are good that are out right now are games that have technically been out for years, you know, like into the radius. Like, that's been out. It's already, it, like, yeah, they're still updating it, and that's awesome, but it's been out. That's not a new product. Unpopular opinion, I didn't like Bone Labs. That ain't unpopular. You're not alone out here. Uh, I thought Bone Labs was a piece of shit, matter of fact. Uh, I thought it was a total fumble by the devs uh, that relied on modding tools that they weren't ready to launch with when the game came out. 
and thus the one selling point of their game being that the players would make it for them wasn't even possible. Uh, really. So, wild. <laughs> wild. That's wild. But you're a cranky old man. I... <laughs> Make your own game, then. I'm not saying I could do it better, but I can say the devs did it better in the prequel that came out in 2019, motherfucker. That's the problem. That's the problem. When your prequel's better than the sequel, that's the problem. Well, yes, I am cranky, but I'm not old. All right, I'm still young and spry. I'm still young and spry. You are nearly 30. I'm 26 and a half, okay? I'm not old, man. I'm not old. I'm not old. Closer to 30 than 20. Shut the fuck up. Shut up! Quiet! Can't you see you're making me angry? What, do you want to get me mad or something? Most of the way to 50. Okay, that's a fucking reach. And you know how math works. And you know that's a reach. Mostly to 50? Mostly? Halfway, you could say. Oh, a little over, a little over half. Closer to 50 than zero. When you put it like that, it doesn't even sound that bad. I think I'd rather be 50 than zero. Than <laughs> zero years old. <laughs> like between those two choices, I don't want to be fucking zero. Yeah, that's but if someone said I had to be 50 or zero, I would immediately dude, I would equate being zero to basically being dead. Like that fuck like you you basically your brain you're not there right now. I don't remember being in there, dude. My consciousness and ego has now been reset. I wouldn't want that. Then again, at least then maybe some of the people who think I'm obsessed with my ego might come back if I literally had none. Maybe I could just get rid of all my ego, reset. Get some of the get some of the upset viewers back. <laughs> Alright guys, here's what we're gonna do. I know a lot of people have had a lot of problems with my ego lately. They think I've uh think it's got a little out of hand. So I'm, I'm getting a lobotomy, dude. I'm getting, I'm getting a lobotomy. I paid a doctor on the street to help me out. We're gonna do it live, dude. We're just gonna get it. We're gonna do it live. <laughs> dude, that'd be epic, man. That'd be epic, man. Mr. Beast gives 1,000 streamers lobotomies. Dude! Epic! <laughs> That's heartwarming. Now that's a heartwarming fucking story. It's about goddamn time. Oh my god. Hang on, I gotta freaking blow my nose. Ew? <laughs> what do you fucking mean, ew? Snotty freak? Snotty freak! I didn't do it on mic, motherfucker! What do you mean? Uh, 
I heard it. <laughs> what are you fucking talking about? All right, chat. You've all been getting distracted by one really important thing. Uh, I, I feel like we've all been deeply distracted by the fact that Chilla's game is just sitting there. Unoccupied, able to do whatever it wants, unsupervised right now. The karaoke. The karaoke. The karaoke. The karaoke. He's stalling. Now I'm gonna pull up the Steam page first. I think it's really important that we pull up the Steam page for this one. I think it's like super important that we pull up these Steam pages. Cause the about this game section, it, sh Chilla's, I think it's important we go through the about this game section every time we do a Chilla game from now on. I think it's important. Cause like, you're gonna see some interesting stuff. The karaoke is a Japanese horror game about a high school girl at a karaoke. Key features, immersive experience, an atmospheric, believable environment intensifies the horror experience. VHS film aesthetic. VHS aesthetic emulates the look and feel of CRT screens. I'm not sure it's a, I'm, 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 dude, I'm just not really sure that it is a selling point at this point to be like, I put the filter on. I put the filter on that everyone has on their games now. It, it, it. <laughs> this one's the good one though. Psychological horror. This game will drive you insane. Now this is important, Chet, because if it doesn't drive us insane, then it looks like Chilla just fucking lied. Cause that wasn't like this game will this game will unsettle you. This game will make us go cuckoo, cuckoo, crazy, okay? So if you're a little afraid of going cuckoo crazy, maybe get out of here. Okay, cut your losses. You're not old enough for this one. False advertising or genuine threat. Oh. Oh. Auto saves every checkpoint. Good. Honestly, Honestly, not exactly a feature, but it might be for Chilla because I definitely remember it not auto-saving every checkpoint in prior games, okay? Multiple endings. There's six of them. Developer describes this content uh, as having partial nudity. All right, Chilla. Are you fucking sure? Violence and strong language. I, uh, I'm not so sure about this one, Chilla. Uh, Chilla, um... Chilla, I'm not so fucking sure you want to do this one, dude. Uh, partial nudity? Uh, I'm gonna share the actual serious content, uh, alert now, because, um, uh, I don't think Chilla clocked this. Though they did include it in the game. Uh, and, and it's warned by, uh... By, like, people who have played it. Uh, so there is, there is some themes in it, like, uh, rape and suicide. So if those things are not things that you feel like you can handle in a game, then this is your warning now. Uh, Chilla only felt like it was important to mention that there's some strong language in this one. <laughs> But like I said, maybe Chilla, maybe Chilla handles it in a careful way. But I'm letting all of you know now, okay? Chilla going full Breen. It's not ideal. I don't really come to Chilla for my like. I don't. I'm. I don't want to be mean to Chilla. But I need to say that I have never come to Chilla for my sick and twisted stories. Not once have I been like, Chilla's the one I want to cover this, this sick and twisted tale. Because I know they're going to tell it in such a way that won't leave me wildly, wildly unsettled in like a, 
Like, beyond just, like, playing a game way. Just, like, a sick... I don't think they're gonna... <laughs> sick game. <laughs> sick games. Maybe they'll handle it well. This, But this game will drive you insane. Well, I mean, like... Katie, you played it. You don't seem any more insane than the last time you were in chat. Or are you? Well, I am at least confident that whatever's in this is at least safe for Twitch because otherwise I would have at this point, I am an hour into the intro. Someone would have warned me. So I'm sure Chilla doesn't go anything too crazy. <laughs> so that warning is more just for people that are extremely sensitive to that stuff. Uh, because I feel like it should have been included. Uh, I think those kinds of things should be included in your warnings. Uh, but wh what do I know? I don't make, uh, sick games. <laughs> I don't make sick games or anything. All right, Chet. I'm going to go to the bathroom. And then, uh, we're going to start up, okay? Okay. Hear me. time. Wake up! Wake up! It's time. We have to go to the karaoke. Now check. I already feel like I need to warn you, I can see a shadow of a ghoul right here. Many players may miss this, but there's already one there. That, or that's the shadow of the cameraman who took this picture. But I don't think you need to have the shadow of a cameraman if this is a video game. So I'm pretty sure that's a ghoul. Just so we're aware. Now, I'm ticking off the supporter content because I fucking loathe the supporter content. I hate the supporters. Not them, like, personally as people, but the content they add. I don't like picking up a trading card that says Goblin Boy <laughs> in my Chilla games. I just can't handle it. I need to get perfectly immersed in the world. And whenever, if I pick up one more goddamn card that says Goblin boy. In a corner where I think a useful item would be, and it's instead a collectible trading card for Goblin boy, I'm gonna lose my mind. What about Goblin man? It don't matter how it don't matter how big the goblin is. It's still it's it, it, it's still gonna piss me off. You could miss lore them. I don't think any of the supporter things relate to lore. Don't blame the game then if you ain't going insane. I'm sorry, did you just imply that the supporter contents are part of the process to going insane? 
Did you just fucking tell, tell me that the high tier Patreon donation supporters? Actually contribute to my going insane. Okay. <laughs> I guess we need to do this all right out of the box the way Chilla intended. Because if we alter any setting, we are officially not going to go cuckoo crazy. Okay. We're going to have to do it all out of the box. Here we go. New game. This is a story from my high school days. I was part of the basketball club and, like always, I was practicing with a- Can you shut the fuck up? I was practicing with a close friend of mine after club activities. That day, we had plans to hit up karaoke together after our extended practice session. I did it better. Dude, I see a basketball court. I start thinking about my fucking absolutely busted pinky. <laughs> All right, that started sweat. That, uh, that made me sweat for a second. I started thinking about my fucked up pinky from all the times I've like accidentally caught a basketball wrong. <laughs> this ain't a karaoke place. What the heck? Dude, I'm huge, man. Look at how tall I am. Like characters almost hitting their head on the top of the door. Or maybe the doors are just small. Wait a minute, are we just large? I think we're just big. My crippling social anxiety. Thank you for the 20 tier three gifted subs to the channel. I realize now I haven't had my stream notifications open this entire time. And there's probably a lot of other people that gifted subs at some point and I missed them all. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop that open now. Uh, at the same time. Thank you, my crippling social anxiety for the 20 tier 3 gifted subs. They, bis pre they pressed the wrong thing again. They pressed it wrong again. There's no refunds. There's no refunds, but thank you very much, but no refunds. That's the first misclick of the year. Cyrus, thanks for the 200 bits as well, by the way. Thanks. And Mr. Love, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Thanks. Thanks. Sorry, Chad, I just wanted to get through the Oh, oh, 20 gifted subs for Mr. Love. Thank you. Thanks. Very kind. All very kind. Just wanted to get to him since I missed it at the beginning. <laughs> First of all, hate that her, like, model warps when she turns. Hate that. Don't remember that. <laughs> hey, Blink. Dude. The cl you know what the models in this game look like? They look like the exact same style of model from LA Noir VR. They look exactly like the LA Noir VR models where like they're kind of not, they're kind of one solid being. Like it's a picture grafted onto the shape of a head. But I can see their eyes, so I know that that's not exactly accurate. <laughs> I don't like how they're carrying that basketball, and I don't really like them. But I think I have to talk to them. I'm just I'm taking a look around. You guys know me. I gotta find those collectibles. <laughs> you, got, <laughs> you guys know me, guys. I gotta find those collectibles, or I'm not gonna get the good ending. Better than the last game? Wow, you guys are giving it a better than the last game instantly, huh? I don't need- what was the last game? <laughs> wait, wait, don't, no one tell me! Last game was the one with the monkeys. I remember that one, but I don't remember- it, it was the one with the bathhouse. It was the bathhouse. It was the one with the monkeys and the bathhouse. It was the one where I thought the monkeys were the bad guys the whole time, but that turned out- It was- and the potato guy! That one was forgettable as hell. <laughs> Cause I thought that the la I, I for a minute I thought the last Chilla game was Last Shift, the one where they worked at the Starbucks. An anonymous gifter gifting twenty subs to the channel. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hello. Let's practice free throws. Oh my God! Look at these decisions I get to make. Got it.
<laughs> this girl sucks! Yo, what the fuck was that shit? You're gonna fucking break it, you're all... It's just her doing it, I'm not doing anything! When did I get to practice? <laughs> Ubu, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you. Mocha, maybe you should uh, quit. The If you can't sync one, maybe you should fucking give it up. That's another fucking miss. You will watch. I mean, how long is this gonna go for? <laughs> uh, I can't move. I can't move. I... <laughs> This girl, oh, oh, there we go. Hang on, you know, it's kind of, I, I don't think we should in, interfere until we're like, we let her score one, <laughs> you know what I mean? We, I, I consider this a stream soft block until Mocha lands a three pointer. <laughs> That's so bad. Holy shit. That one was the worst one yet. They're getting worse! They're getting fucking worse, dude! <laughs> They're getting worse at it! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're actually getting worse! They're drifting! They're experiencing drift! Dude, what the fuck is she doing?! No way she's missing by that much! She's gonna recenter. Dude. Give up. Just reset. The recoil on this basketball is fucking crazy. Chat. She's gonna. Chat, I'm so sorry. I have to do this. I have to set up cheat engines, speed up the game, and see how long this actually will go. And how far this will go. Give me a second. I need to hook the game into Cheat Engine right now. This might be the most important thing I ever do in my entire life. Okay. Two times speed. I'm gonna speed it up a little. Okay. Still, it's getting, it's still getting worse. I think we're gonna need to add more speed. Yeah, we're gonna have to add more speed. Hang on. I'm cranking it up to 10 times. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop, Mocha! <laughs> What are you doing? Can you move her to the left? She's She's got fucking cataracts. She can't fucking see, dude. She's blind as a fucking bat. Eventually she'll turn around. Mocha, stop. Eventually, she's gonna just be slamming it in the fucking door when someone walks in. I give him a concussion. She's blind. She doesn't know how to play basketball. She's like, she actually, her whole model's drifting. She started here. Her model is drifting. Hey, chat, if we let her drift far enough, she'll go right through a fucking wall, and I feel like we have to. Like, I know it's gonna take a thousand years, but I, I, I this is the fucking process of a chilla game, all right? We're, we're, we're like the, the final game tester for them, all right, every time. Now, we know there's a chance that, I don't, chat, here's the thing, you can't really speed up a game past ten times. Uh, like, you, some, it'll let you put it in, like, as, like, five thousand times, but, like, games have, like, a maximum clock that they can go up to before, like, it is as fast as they can go. I'm pretty sure it's usually around five. It's usually around five to 10. Try it. Okay, right now it's set to 10 times speed. I'm gonna set it to 500. 
Good God, it's like a fucking sprinkler. Hey, hey, Mocha. Do you think you maybe just want to go home? Mocha, there's no basketball there. Mocha, there's no freaking basketball. Okay, chat, here's what we do. We'll just, we'll just let her rotate all the way back around till she's facing it again. It's kind of, oh! I moved for one second. That's how fast we're actually going. It kind of looks like she's doing a dance. Like she's really excited. Yippee! Yippee! Hey! Wee! <laughs> she is still drifting. She's like slowly rotating towards the door. Oh! This is it. <laughs> this girl sucks! This girl sucks eggs! She's the worst! Yo, maybe stick to karaoke, because you don't get any fucking chance in basketball, all right? Sports ain't your fucking thing. This is closer she's going to get. She can't do it like this, she's never going to get it. Weak arms, pathetic. If you do it like this, it kind of looks like she's trying. The Crimson Empire thanks to the five gadget subs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Statistically, surely eventually one of these like physics lands in a weird way. Like it's gonna land in a weird way and fucking. So eventually she's just gonna spike it right into my head. You think I'll die? I think that's an ending. Stop. Stop, Mocha. Stop. Dude, chat. She's starting to rotate back towards the baskets again. I think she's actually getting back towards it. I just want to see if she clips out of the map at this point. Like, like that's that, like, we have to let her cook for another minute, right? We have to. Man, she's going for that, like, fucking crazy, crazy across the court shot, but she's got freaking, like, horrible, horrible upper body strength. She's never gonna fucking get it. A million years of the across the court, the full gymnasium huck. Not in a million years, Mocha. Not in a million freaking years. Chat, we could be here for 30 more minutes before she actually clips out of the map. I don't know if we should do it. But this might be the dumbest one, so this might be the dumb one. Look at this shit. <laughs> this girl's dumb as a fucking sack of potatoes, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> 5,000 times speed. Chat, it's gonna crash the game. And possibly like my PC. Which is fine because I have two PCs. Okay, we'll see. I don't think, I don't think we could, it's set to 500 times. It's not going to go, I set it to 5,000. <gasps> nah, it's definitely like cap is five, is like somewhere probably closer to like 25. Because it can let you go higher, but it's never going to actually go higher. So this is the max speed. The cap's somewhere between 10 and 500. Probably 25. Okay, there. Uh, I'm gonna show them how it's done. I've had a lot. Of, I, I've had a lot of time to fucking do this. You fucking idiot. Sink it. I learned from the master.
someone walks in. Like, this would, if I was like, uh, the, like someone that worked at the school and I saw these two idiots fucking doing this shit, I would immediately be like, no more after school activities for like these two. Like, they're out. They're done. I don't care what the fuck they think they're doing in their free time. They're not doing it here anymore. I almost got one, Mokai. Look. We should get going. I think I fucked up the sink of the entire game. Oh my huh. Hey, you two! It's freaking 6 a.m. <laughs> were you here all night? Why were you here all night? What the fuck? Go home. Hey, you two. It's money up the nut. Can't you two read the clock? Oh, Time to go okay. home. Aw, <clears throat> oh, shoot. I'll clean up. You go ahead. Mocha, are you sure? If this game was actually rendering all these basketballs, truly we went through thousands of them. I don't need those. Those aren't my fucking shoes. I'll tell you that much. Whoa. Damn, we cl we opened that door fucking fast. Open locker? Yeah. Why did I say- I, I thought this was my locker. I just stole a key. Mocha's key. So we do, do- are we not taking the rest of it? I only need the key. I stole her key. Use deodorant. I've now also used body wipe. Put shoes, my sports shoes in, change clothes. Grab a bag. Are you stealing her home key? Yes. I'm gonna throw it in the fucking trash where it belongs. I mean, I wouldn't fucking go home if I were Mocha after I embarrassed myself. Truly made, like, she's a disgrace. <laughs> she, she's a goddamn disgrace. Strong road. Onion Gaming, what the fuck? What? Huh? Well, I've stolen her key. She's not going home tonight. Besides, she doesn't fucking need to go home. She needs to keep practicing until she sinks one fucking shot. Wait, where's the key? Go back. Uh, all right, we've entered a new world, uh, like a new timeline. Uh, this is a bad ending. Uh, we've accessed a bad ending. We just lost. We lost the game. We lost. I'm now stumbling through the shadows. Mocha's dead. There's no way she survives. The screen tearing. Yeah, I wonder if there's any V-sync. Don't sync. Yes, sync. Yes, sync. Graphics qu- Chat, I owe it to myself to go back and see if all those balls would have remained rendered. I'm sorry. I owe it to myself to do that. I need to go and check. I have to. It's okay. We'll do it quickly. You didn't apply. I, I don't even think it matters. Like, I have to do it once I'm in. Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Shut up! Quiet! RTX is totally on. Oh yeah. I cannot tell where the graphics are. <laughs> Hang on a second. Oh, I found them. Wait a minute, it was to ew! No, the, it, we were on ultra. This is this is low. <laughs> ew! 
She turns into she turns into a fucking Silent Hill PS1 model. Yeah, let's practice our freaking free throws. Let's go. <gasps> she almost 6-1. Unfortunately, after the first throw, she never has another chance of landing it ever again. Like, she had- no, she has like one more chance. I'll do it the same way I did it in freaking high school when I needed to like sink a shot. What? Is that fucking- is that net made out of steel? Yeah. Okay, this might actually take longer than I thought. Hey, fuck you! Get the fuck out of my way. Oh my god. I fucked up. This was a big mistake. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Only my balls stay spawned. Hers despawn. No, even mine go away. After okay, yeah, you just have to practice enough times and then it just finishes for you. It's a Okay. Do I steal her key? What the fuck was the point of me taking her key then? I mean, I'm gonna steal it again. All right. Okay. Okay, so what did I... What do I do with this key? Do I put it into this outlet and off my character? Possibly. Eat it. I could eat it. <laughs> if I really want to bully my friend, I definitely should eat it. I should also steal their shoes. Doesn't seem like I can do anything with the key. Well, I uh, toss it into the corner where she'll never find it, and I leave. Help! Help! Damn it. I'm trying to- I'm already trying to find ways to leave the boundaries of the map. All right, where's my frickin', where is my goddamn bike? Probably over there, but I'm gonna check this alleyway for collectibles. You all know me. I'm a collectible fiend. Now that's a whip. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah. Now that's a frickin' car. Damn, there's a lot of like, Oh, here we go. Here we go. Get on bike. Yeah, what the fuck else would I do? Home sweet home. Wow, this place is super haunted. <clears throat> This place is the most haunted fucking place I've ever seen in my life. Not this way. I can see the edge of reality over there though. But, but game, I could see the edge of reality. You live in Silent Hill? At this point, that's what I assume, uh, Chilla's version of Japan is, is just kind of like constantly a Silent Hill scenario. My house is right down the street, though, Chad. It's gonna be okay. You can tell because... Oh, no, that's the police. Damn, Chilla lives like this. Exclusively Chilla. The rest of Japan's doing all right. It's just Chilla. <laughs> just Chilla lives like this. Snacks. I can't get off of this. Okay, we're stuck on the bike. We have to go home. We have to go home, Chet. But which way is my home? 
I'm just gonna go down the road. This is someone's house. Okay, which one's- Ow! Oh! Wait, come back here and hit my character with a car. Hang on. Skirt! Skirt! <sighs> Almost isekai Almost. Where's my house? Insurance fraud? Yeah, I mean, what, what can I say, alright? They should probably just watch where they're going. Where the fuck do I live? Oh. Doggy. Hey! Easy! Get away from the fucking microphone! My, I don't feel like this is the right way home. Like, where the fuck am I going? This can't be the way I go home! No way, no fucking way am I going the right way. <laughs> We're gonna be fine. Jilla lives like this. Okay, well that says that's the way to karaoke. Or did before the RTX reflection activated. <laughs> Why is there no streetlights ever? Not a popular. Hang on, I'm getting a text. Hello? Hello? Hello, Shari. I got stopped by the coach. You go ahead and sing. Okay. You okay? I'll be fine. I'll catch up with you later. Okay. L look, she needs desperate guidance. <laughs> Did you guys see her fucking free throws? Did you see it? Did you fucking see? I don't know if you all saw what I saw. How the hell do I get to the karaoke? Oh, it's the only place with lights. Coach is probably kicking her off the team. Is this where I pick which song I want to karaoke? Cause if I, it's probably gonna be this crusty fucking one, dude. If I had to pick one, it's gonna be this fucking grody one. <laughs> or like this one. What is this guy doing? Oh no, it's gonna be Let's English. Uh, can I bring this in with me? Yeah. Yo, that's John English. Gamer secret! Oh, what the fuck is this one? Is that just- is that- Is that the Halloween guy? Standing in front of a bunch of jars of what looks to be pickles? Is that Michael Myers? Hello. Can you get out- uh, out of the back? Um, excuse me? Oh, hi. Damn, the fact that they're multitasking with the phone still... ...is pretty impressive, actually. I want to check in for two students for two hours, please. Hi. Okay. Yes! I love drinks. Can I steal from the cash register? Oh yeah, I gotta get my fucking Google Translate on so I know what all these fucking things say. Hang on. This is my favorite part of every Chilla stream now. Hang on, let me open up the thing. How else would I know what these say if I don't use Google Translate? Google! 
Help! Help me! Camera activating. All right, chat. Let's do some. Let's have some fun out here. Arrangement of CDs. Do it yourself. I don't know what the fuck this says. Sasaki manager. It's not a cat or a dog. It's a wolf. Is what that says. Moon sun. Okay, this is the one I really want to know though. What the fuck does that say? However, Minakami. Is that? Body guard. <laughs> Japanese translates bodyguard to body guard, which is interesting. Hello. Do you have a my guy? Is that the? Is that a like? Is that the outline of where glasses would be? <laughs> Cause that, hold up. I need to like get him to look at me. This dude has indent marks where glasses were fucking welded to his face at some point. He has a tan, is that a tan line? All right, well, look. I have, uh, I have karaoke to fucking sing. Where's room to yeah. Hello? Hello? Mocha? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, I, I already paid for the fucking karaoke. I just don't... Uh... I'm gonna get it. Uh, I got it. <laughs> Look at this fucking idiot. <laughs> that kid. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm going to get demonetized or shut down for this stream? Where the fuck is room 12? enter karaoke room i should probably go go back and enter the school and go save my friend uh actually is what i should do but um i don't think it's gonna let me hey can i get a refund i'm locked in you have to sing a song it's like the rules i chat we ha we have to sing a song mocha would understand uh i i can't get a refund on it we have to I'm, I'm gonna enter the room and have fun. Start singing. Yeah, but which song? Easy mode? I don't need fucking easy mode, but I do need the volume a little higher. What the, f what the fuck does calibration mean? Calibrate it to 100. Hang on. Don't do it. What do you fucking mean? Five. It's like a scroll wheel. I uh, can't use anything with it. ASD. Don't know what that means. Uh, I'm going to have to ask what those uh, kanji are. Next to it. ASD control, okay? It's the controls. Uh, I'm going to play Lost Demon. <laughs> Little loud, okay. <laughs> Karaoke minigame. Tutorial, press RFV to hit the notes coming from the right. You can change timing and difficulty at the left side of the tablet screen. Lost Demon.
fucking loud. I don't like the fucking name of that song, Ripe Fruit. It just, it, <laughs> Jeremy, what the, what the fuck is the name? I don't like that song. There's a scroll. It won't let me use it. Like I, I've tried scrolling. I've tried you clicking the button. It won't let me scroll it. I don't- I didn't see the calibration making it any harder for me, chat. What does the calibration do? I don't know what yet. Try voice control. Arrow keys. We're gonna turn the calibration to zero calibration. And by zero, I mean negative one calibration. Alright. To the future. Let's fucking do it, but really quiet. I don't want to scare people. Oh, I'm just, it's just not synced. It's just not synced with any of the beat at all. It's like, it's like I'm on a delay. <laughs> Good news is you can't fail if you press them all. This thing needs to relax. Sore domo toko kanai. Er eno hito wa. Toku no machi no naka. No, instead of reading the uh, Japanese words, I'll just have Google translate it and I'll try to keep up while reading out it in English at the same time. Drifting! Look for the light! I saw it! I dreamed! Let's walk! It's drifting! It's not someone else! For the, for the two of us! Someday I wait hang on the continuation of the journey raise the flag high Google fumbled that for a second, but we got there with soft memories To the future plaque music Who the fuck is that? What is there? Who's that alien? Wait, what was that? I saw it through I didn't see it on the screen. I saw it through Google through my like phone monitor Getting a bit thirsty. Yeah, I would too. I'd sang my fucking heart out back there. <laughs> yeah. I would fucking too, dude. After I use that much energy. Sang my goddamn heart out. <laughs> I sang fucking hard right there. Okay. I should get myself a drink at the drink bar. Yeah, we should. Huh. Huh. Only Chilla games fuck up Elgato every time there's a... Get that song in there. Why don't we get that song? Anyways, guess I'll get a drink. <laughs> hey, what are these drinks? Uh, what is that one? Corn flavored, and that one's onion flavored. Onion drink? Or is that garlic? Hang on, I'm just gonna ask Google. Corn potage. Onion. This just says onion next to it. It can't ID what the onion, what the line, the second line of the onion one is. But it, uh, but. 
That all right there means warm. That right there, you can take that to the fucking bank. That's warm. Drink cup with ice. What can I drink cup with ice and onion? Melon. Yeah, that's a drink. Mmm, that looks solid. <laughs> that looks... What does it have a big X on it for don't drink this? Yummy. Yummy, yummy. So, can I go save my friend now? No? Okay. Strange man. This game will drive you insane. Bleh! <laughs> what is that scary or what? You have a good night. Huh? I must have brought one already. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Hey. Don't, uh, don't drink from that one. I'm gonna pass on that. I don't think I'm gonna drink from that one. I think I'm going to skip it. Maybe we do this one on easy. Do I not have a choice? Do I not have a fucking choice? I don't have a choice. I have to drink from the absolutely fucking drugged cup. Six endings can't find where any of the branching paths are because Jill has got me on a fucking railroad. Unlike any railroad I've ever seen. And I guess I'm... I guess I'm super thirsty and also have short-term memory loss. This girl literally fucking... Dude, you don't just... You don't just like... Ha she actually walked in and was like, Ah, yes, that must be mine too. Because, of course, I'm such a fucking, like, scatterbrain idiot. Of course, I already brought a whole drink. Okay. Mmm. Yummy. If this guy thinks he's gonna sneak up on me, he got another thing coming. Because this time, I ain't even gonna have the music on. Let's fucking drown out that fear, chat. Let's get it out of here. Calibration five times. Let's go in and fucking walk. Motherfucker. And I'm gonna ask Google what it all says. Let's walk! Going on a walk! In front! Co cocaine! Cocaine is not a word! It said it on a Google Translate 2! Serve Susie and I! Okay, okay, so Google's doing this thing where it only really feels like doing one of the lines. Slow down, stop! Sh shoes, Torumatsu, too much. Insignificant, even if you notice. Forever not standing. Don't stand up! I can't keep up with it. That's it, man. I'm gonna turn on the speed hack. 
at 0.25 and it didn't work. It's not slowing down! I can't tell what it's saying! One step at a time is fine. Just one. Stop! I'm not even. Uh. It almost translated one of them. It almost translated one of them. God damn it, Google, help me! It, 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 Google fucking failed that one. Google fucking dropped the ball on that one. I don't know what to say. I should have paused it. Mocha should be here soon. I should get some snacks for the both of us. What should I order? Uh. I don't know. I gotta get to the bottom of this. There's no reason why my... Hang on, I'm gonna make sure that it's actually hooked in. Two times. Somehow the game became immune to speed hacks. Shit. I don't know how, but someone live, te like, patched the game. It's mad. It's getting stronger. <laughs> the V-Sync. You think? No. Let's get that the fuck out of here. I can't even click on it. They patched it so you can't turn off the V-Sync. Damn you, Chilla! Damn you to hell! What? Uh, what? Huh? What? Oh, yeah. No one's sneaking up on me now once I turn on 0.25 speed. No fucking way, man. They were going to be on this phone call for a while at 0.25 speed, by the way. It won't fuck with audio, though. That's the thing. I'd like to order something. Beans. I want beans. Pizza, please. Fried chicken, please. Onion. Soda. <laughs> Give me onion soda now. So this is where the uh, endings come into play, chat. Because obviously our friend is currently dead or dying, uh, and our ending is as a result of w uh, what kind of uh, nightmare we have intestinally and in the future on the toilet as a result of like our diet choices. Uh, so that's, that's the scary part for us. Uh, I'm gonna go crazy and go for fried chicken because I think that might get me a risk for like, uh, maybe it's undercooked, maybe it's not cooked right. I get salmonella uh, or like some kind of like, you know, bad, bad issue with that. Food poisoning, die. That'd be kind of fun. It'll take two to three minutes. Oh, yeah, it's not cooked right. 100% not cooked right. Something's wrong. Two to three minutes? Are you sure? You're the girl in room 12, right? Yeah. Yeah, high school student. Check. Yeah.
my character was very slow, but I think they could be slower. Uh, we're going to set to point zero five. Move. We've at, we've reached the point where their body is no longer able to move. Uh, so it's that's too slow. Let's try point one. Okay. Okay, so this is kind of fun though because now I have a way to pause the game. Start singing? Yeah, I'd like to start singing. We're doing Lost Demon. Okay. The cat is too powerful! Even when slowed down to point one, it's still- Oh, there we go. I have plenty of time now to read the fucking subtitles. Here we go, let me pop my phone back open. Shortcut to happiness. Let's turn at random places. Okay, let's speed up a little bit, now we're out of sync. Ah, we'll just let it keep going. I don't usually notice. Should I turn in a strange place? Riding the what? What? Wonder if all okay. Half of it Google didn't even want to do. Until the last bus comes, don't leave here. Okay, speed up a little. Okay, there we go. Until the lost demon goes, don't leave here. Until the lost. Hang on, is that just the same one again? Oh, here we go. Translate! Damn it! Nice we until now. Google is dropping the ball. I, I paid a lot of money for this, Google. For the professional version. I wonder what did you notice we ever did you. Where you think you're fucking going, motherfucker? <laughs> you're just coming here! Yeah, right! I got you now, I'm taking a picture on my phone. I'm taking a picture on my phone. I I'm taking- I took a picture. <laughs> yes. Flee all you like. Flee all you like. You've already been captured on camera. Nice try, freak. We got there. Yes! Whoa, 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 whoa! I missed it. Fuck! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Alright, I'm just gonna speed this up the other way now. So just give me a... Just give me a second here. I'm just gonna... Hang on, I'm just gonna... No, it's fine. We'll just let go as is. Is it looping? Oh, fuck. Help! 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 God, please! Okay, hang on a second, chat. We're gonna get out of here. <laughs> we have made mistakes, chat. But now we have a fun background song. Oh. Well, I have to call my friend because she didn't make it. I saw that.
She's not answering. Probably because you're calling from a fucking karaoke number. I'm not going to ask her. I'm going to ask her in person. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get out there. But really slowly. Okay, hang on. I got to make this shut the fuck up. I don't like having the sound. I, for some reason, Cheat Engine causes the Windows error sound to play. Pisses me the fuck off. I don't want people to know when I'm doing it. That's going to make me go crazy. There we go. She's not here. Maybe she's in the staff room. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe she's freaking dead. <clears throat> maybe she's freaking dead. Where the hell is the staff room? <clears throat> I know where the toilets are. Oh, here we go. Excuse me. I don't hear anything. Let's go in. You stupid fucking idiot. You moron. Are you kidding me? Do I need to pull up the picture? Do I need to pull it up? You idiot. You goddamn moron. You freaking idiot. You stupid bastard. You gonna go in? All right, let's go in. What did I fucking tell you? What did I fucking tell you was gonna happen? Now you're gonna get yelled at. Now you're gonna get yelled at by an adult. Would you, are you happy with yourself? Gonna get in big trouble, fucking moron. Now you're never gonna get your onion soda. Stupid. Can't you read? Uh, barely. What? My order didn't know what arrived. Yeah. It should be on your table. You're telling me this girl managed to get around me? What are you looking at? Okay. Oh! I wasn't even- that was faster than my thumb, dude! That was faster than the slow-mo on my thumb! He's more powerful than Cheat Engine. I think he stole my chicken! <laughs> my chicken! He literally fucking did steal my chicken! What the fuck is- where's the spooky part of this game? So far this guy's just- I mean, it is spooky! He did steal my fucking chicken! He literally just, he's just stealing my food. Fries? This is the wrong order. Was that guy one of the workers? Oh, well, I'm gonna keep singing. <laughs> don't eat the fucking fry. Dude, don't eat the fucking fries. Huh? Hmm? There's something in the fries. What is this? An email address. Uh, I thought she was about to be like, what is this? Poison? What is this? Someone's fucking AOL... <laughs> AOL, like, account? Handle? I... Gross. Ah, uh, the email was gross. <laughs> it's... There's an email in the fries. It's written in the ketchup. My God. This was in that. This all right here. Was in that. That all right there. This fucking gigantic full size piece of paper. Was in that. You ate that. You ate this. Feel free to message me. Utaro1101 at Yabai. Dot me dot JP. I'm not gonna fucking do that. What is this? What is this? Some new song? Hey, what the fuck? Hey, it's the one that I had. I had problems with. Why do I have to listen to that one? 
Well, fine, but if I'm gonna listen to it, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna enjoy it. Fine, but if I'm going to listen to it, I'm not going to enjoy it. Okay. Calibration. Five. Volume. Zero percent. If this guy thinks he's gonna murder me, he's got another thing coming. All right? I have time freezing powers. He took my eyes! I'm back. Uh, last I checked, I uh, set it to zero volume. Let's try to do one of these right. You guys know what I mean? Come on, then. Draws knife. Come on, then. Come on in. Come get your fucking fries. I can probably guess the lyrics. Something, something, walking, something, something, trains. I got there. Come on, then! What was that? Is that blood? I'm slowing now. I'm gonna slow it down to slow-mo for a second. Does that look like blood to you guys? I should probably pause it. Okay, it's back to normal. That's, uh... Finally, a good, a good, oh. Huh, weird. Hello? Mocha? You're late. I'm already here and singing, and I think I got a demon in the fucking TV. You're gonna want to see this. Mira? Oh, you can almost hear her. What do you mean you're not coming to karaoke? What the fuck? Mocha, what's your goddamn problem? Mocha, fuck you. What do you, what do you mean you're not coming? I came all this way. What's wrong? Hey, hello? Damn. She ditched me. <laughs> I guess I'll go home and not talk about any of this. Damn. They closed the store while I was still singing. <laughs> Locking me inside. What the heck? That's two people that have screwed me over tonight. Counting three if you include the guy who gave me the wrong order. Nah, it's, I'm not gonna invade someone else's privacy. That's not my phone. I think you're calling that phone? Well, now I know where it is, so I can leave. <laughs> After I ransack the fucking onion uh, soda section. I don't want to go near that. If I go near that, the enemy will spawn. What? This is Mocha's phone. Why is it here? Now, if there's someone in here, I want you to know I have, uh... I will slow the game down if you jump out at me. <clears throat> I will. I swear to God, I will. So I wouldn't try it. Huh? Yeah, with butterfingers, you know, it just slipped right out of my hands. And then fumbled out of my hands again, rolled uh, around an entire corner in the middle of the. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. of the game. Sheila said it would make me go insane. Chat, is there any chance that all of us forgot the part where we put this phone over here? 
Is there any chance Chilla was right and we are not in control? That can't be possible. I'm not going crazy. Isn't that more of a memory issue? That's what a fucking plant in the chat who's part of Chilla's posse would fucking say to get us off the trail and not think about it so we can go even more insane. Oh, we're on slow-mo right now. They can't hurt us. Hey, Mocha. Why? What? It looks like, what are you, what were you crying? Did the coach kick you off the basketball team? Because honestly, it's because you're not very good at it. You're not very good at it. I didn't know how to tell you, but I mean, you were there for fucking six hours. You couldn't get one basketball to even hit the uh, backboard. Uh, oh, are you asking why? Because I stole the keys to your house so you wouldn't be able to go home? Because I did that to haze you. I wanted to bully you. I did that. I Yeah, I, I threw it into the corner of the, uh, the lobby. I assumed you'd see it. Mocha, what's wrong? Why didn't you help me? Because the fucking karaoke place ain't cheap. Okay? Mocha, because the fucking karaoke place is no refunds, goddammit. And I assumed my friend wouldn't want me to waste my goddamn money. Okay? Why didn't I help you? Why didn't I help you with your fucking, with your fucking three-pointers? There's no way you can help those fucking arms. You got gout or some shit. You got some kind of muscle, muscle problem, Mocha. No one can help you with that. You have to pray to God to get you to help you with that. I called you many times. Uh. It's too late? <sighs> okay, but the thing is, the thing is. Oh, she's. Oh, bye. Um. Maybe call the police? No, I'm not gonna fucking do that. I'm a bad person. I'm a bad person and a bad friend. I think I'm about to get killed by a ghoul. Hello? One more song for the road? <sighs> Thought you'd never ask. Six endings, by the way. Six endings, by the way. Chat, there hasn't been a single moment this entire time I've been playing through this where I've been like, yeah, dude. Any second now, it's gonna branch. <laughs> where are they? <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll get in there. How the heck she managed to do that? Ow, she threw me. Uh, what? Huh? What? Oh, thank God, I was just sleeping. Oh, how long was I out? Man, that that weird pizza, that, that 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 those weird fries and that weird drink I drank, both consecutively from that guy who ran out of the room really frantically, really 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 made me sleepy. I got a really nice sleep. Hello. <clears throat> Hello, Moko. The photo I just sent you. If this main character doesn't do something at this point, they are truly... I'm running out of goddamn pictures, Chet. Like, I, I I don't know what else to say. I'm running... There's... Run away from there. What, karaoke? Mocha, he's not going to kick me off the team. I, I can sink three pointers like no one else. What photo? I. Oh. Okay. This is making me go cuckoo crazy. 
play more karaoke now. I feel sick. I need to go to the restroom. My, my tummy's all full of fries. Totally normal french fries and soda. I'm definitely A-OK. -okay. I just need to go to the potty really quick. Maybe I don't go to the bathroom. The restroom's not this way. Maybe I go to the bathroom. Okay. All right, Chilla. <laughs> what are my choices? Do I change the pet like the timeline if I shit my pants in here before I go into the stall? Does that change one of the endings? If I choose to like just take a big old dump right now? Okay, well, here I go, and here we go. What was that photo she was talking about? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god, this character is a psycho. It is making me go crazy. I've never had a dumber character. Holy shit. Actually, brain dead. I can only assume that many of the basketballs that Mocha threw during that cycle did hit my character in the head when I sped up time and it made them dumber. Like every basketball that hit my head dropped my IQ by 10. Until I officially had goo brain. Oh, she sent me a photo. What? What's this? I mean, it just looks like a guy. Did she not want me? She did she not want me to see this? Is Anton from No Country for Old Men. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my fucking god. We we do gotta get the fuck out of here. Coach? Could it be I have to call Mocha? Oh my god. Dude, at this Oh you're gonna You're gonna call him now? Oh, you're gonna call them now? You wanna call them now? What's the most you've ever lost in a karaoke game? Call it. Call them. Call them. I like to imagine they are still, like, the, the shit is going poorly. Like, it's going bad down there. And this is like, they're not, they're only taking the time to care about Mocha for a second because they have no goddamn choice, is what I can assume. Because this character has been the worst fucking friend I've ever seen in my whole life. Which means they have to be having a miserable poop day right now. This has to be the worst one they've ever had. They're stuck here either way, and they're only doing this because they're bored out of their goddamn mind. Okay? She's not answering. Don't wash your hands. Yep, don't bother. <laughs> don't bother, it's not coded anyways. Didn't flush, didn't wash hands. What should I do? Oh my God, here we go. <laughs> Timelines are diverging right now. We have six different endings. Either A, I go into the staff only room again and they call the police and I get arrested. B, I go into karaoke and I either A, that, that's two separate timeline endings in there. Either A, I go in there and just play karaoke and I'm fine and have a wonderful night and then my friend is dead. Or B, I go in there, finish the fries, get murdered by a psychopath. I could also leave through the back door and begin a new life without my bike. I'll scamper into the darkness and find a new path for myself.
Alternatively, I could... She's not here again. The door's blocked. Wow, the coach... Okay, so the coach... Uh, at this point, I can only assume the coach has lost his mind. This isn't just a, like, oh, he's a psycho. This is like a, oh, he went from being, like, a normal person to snapping, like, a twig the second he saw, like, I guess 5,000 basketballs in the, uh, in the gym on the ground. Uh, because he parked his fucking car in front of the front door of the building. <laughs> like, this, this is, like, postal level crazy. <laughs> It's a pull. It's actually a slide door. Uh, you can just, yeah. I don't really know. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go out the back and not sing karaoke. I think that's the first step for me is I'm not going to sing karaoke. And I'm not going to tell the staff about it because she isn't doing anything. Uh, she's not going to do anything. I'm leaving. Door's jammed. We're fucking dead. That's it. Chilla's fucked me. Chilla got me. <laughs> Chilla got me dead the rights out here. I thought there were six endings. All of those achievements activate when you get one ending. Help! Help! What would bodyguard do? What would Brandon do? I, mean, I could go for some ice. I can't get a cup. Damn it. Shit. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna go in. Yo, what the fuck? They had this and they wouldn't even let me sing it? Man, this karaoke place is a goddamn scam. They got the monkey song. They got the clown song? I didn't ask for monkey song. You're right, but I did ask for clown song. And they didn't give it to me. Pisses me the fuck off, it does. Alright, what the fuck? What's going on? Oh my god, that's the freaking coach. He's wearing what looks to be bloody shoes. I slowed down time so I could tell what was happening. Coach is here. Let's call the cops. Holy shit, she's doing something right. The police said it would take four minutes for the police to get here. I have to hide until then. Press C to sneak. You gotta hide in the men's bathroom. What's he gonna do? Go to the bathroom while he's here? What's he gonna do? Go to the bathroom? What's he saying? What's he saying? <laughs> Occupied! Thank you! He knows run. Shit. He doesn't fucking know. He doesn't fucking know. I'm, I'm calling his bluff. He doesn't know. Why are you breathing like that? You're not shitting right now, are you? <laughs> okay, I got caught. <clears throat> okay, so that wasn't the plan. Here's the new one. Check this one out. Alright, I call the police. Alright, check. Here's the plan. Only go into like half the rooms. 
Did this guy fucking actually... What the heck? He sealed the goddamn hallway! He's talking, he's definitely talking like an evil guy. Great hiding spot. Chat, I, <laughs> this game will drive you insane. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even know what a hiding spot is anymore. You know what I mean? I don't fucking know. He, he sounds... If I didn't know any better, I didn't know that he was talking in Japanese, I would... He's ta like... With the octave of his voice, he sounds like fucking Java. He sounds like goddamn Java. <laughs> like... It, don't do it, man. Dude, I can't like... What do I do? He just finds these spots! I tried to like get up, it wouldn't let me. Keep moving. I mean, but I can't keep moving once like... He hasn't passed any door that I've been in so far. But that's the thing, he hasn't like gone by one. Or like doubled back. I'm fucking out of here. If this is a circle, I can just keep going around. Actually, dead ends again. Hang on, there's a gun underneath the fucking counter. Janitorial closet. He doesn't know. Can't, I can't jump. Oh, he's fucking dumb as a doorknob. I don't know where the janitorial closet is. But I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm guessing it's the back. That's not a fucking janitorial closet. Good news is he's still stupid. I don't know where the janitor is! It's not the staff room. Is this one? If I can sneak up behind him, I can fucking kill him. I'm gonna have to fucking slit his throat. I learned this in Hitman 3. Hey, coach! What? <laughs> Slow it down even a little bit more, I would say. This is a good scene. Ow! Ow! Oh, I hit the ground. The police arrived, and the coach was taken to the hospital, but he didn't make it. Oh, yikes, now you can get arrested for killing him. It was ruled as self-defense. Good. So I wasn't charged with anything. That's good. The guilt of taking someone's life and the relief that there will be no more victims is this girl at any point going to talk about her friend that she herself absolutely contributed in the death of? 
or is she just going to act like how like she's like the fucking real victim here because she had to like stab this guy in like the karaoke bar like after because like I don't know it seems like Mocha really got the short end of the stick here like 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 this girl ignored like 18 phone calls it literally ignored 18 phone calls and now she's like the guilt the guilt of putting this guy down just hit me with a wave of emotions it's overwhelming what do you mean listen here girl you didn't even know there were victims or know anything was wrong until like fucking 30 like maybe 30 minutes ago what are you talking about it was the only way for me at the time. I still can't shake off that feeling. The memory of it still haunts me like a recurring nightmare. This game will drive you insane! Will there ever come a day when I will be free from him? Y'all remember Mocha? <laughs> Y'all remember Mocha? Anyone even remember Mocha? Who? Yeah, no, that's what I'm fucking saying. This girl doesn't even know the coach's name. Ending one of six. Man, this rain looks really good. Capcom could learn a few fucking things from this, I'll tell you what. Huh? What? <laughs> just, dude, that's a fucking wall! That was a gate! You smacked your fucking head into a gate! You stupid idiot! Idiot! You're a moron! What's that? What is that, an orb? There was an orb beneath that. If I press continue, we'll just... Oh my god. We need to go back to the locker room to check the orb. I'm not actually not seeing an orb. The question is, do I fucking care enough to find the other endings of this game? Yes, you do. Che I'm checking underneath these two benches right now. I don't even see an orb. Like, I... There's only three benches. None of them have an orb under them. And now my character's stuck. Ending. Stuck ending. No, 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 just maybe it was in the gym. No. <laughs> Basket full of orbs. I just, I just. Dude, there's only three benches. Why don't I see an orb? Might need a new game? No.
Maybe outside. Maybe I need my clothes on first. Maybe it spawns in once my clothes are on. I ain't seeing no fucking orb. Maybe once my shoes are on. Nope, no orb. Maybe it's outside. Maybe it's in the back of the school, way out here. Maybe now that I know the future of this game, I can slash the coach's tires so he only kills Mocha. You know what I mean? Like, that sounds like something my character would do. Who? Yeah, nice, uh, nice, nice main character RP chat. Who exactly? I don't know who that is. That's why I didn't answer the phone and talk to them or be concerned about them the entire time they were calling and begging me to help them for the last, like, three hours of the, uh, my character's life. LMAO, I'm looking up the ending. Maybe there's one where I go up the- nope, that's not- they didn't even render stairs for this. That is a- that is a steep ramp for, like, <laughs> that- dude, I- I don't think that's safe for someone in, like, a wheelchair. That is a steep fucking ramp if that's what that's supposed to be. That is steep. That's an emergency slide. You think? I mean, I got another game for tonight still. We're not done. But I'm not really hell-bent on doing, like, multiple endings. If I can't even find the orb. You know what I mean? Look up the endings. I don't like doing that. But I will, uh... No, there's nothing back there. We have to get this orb. Can this still be called a game? Survive for four minutes ending. I'll do one thing. I will do a new game and see if the orb spawns. A full new game. I'll check if the orb spawns. The other ones seem like a pain. Yeah, no, that's common for Chilla games. Chad, there's a reason I don't go for multiple endings uh, in Chilla games. I never go for multiple endings. Because all these games have insane multiple endings. It's like, it feels like I'm playing Call of Duty Zombies trying to get an Easter egg, and that's like the normal ending. Yeah, Mocha, let's practice our free throws. It's the only thing I know about you. <gasps> okay. I think I just have to hit, like, the backboard enough times and they just give me credit. God, we suck. God, we fucking suck. Yeah, we should get going. Mocha makes a free throw ending. <laughs> oh. You think? Chat. No orb. Not one orb. Touch the benches. Well, if I touch this one, I get stuck! Huh. Huh. No orb. I've officially tampered with everything in this room that I can tamper with. And there's no orb. I don't even know what this key goes to. So I had to steal it out of, you know, I probably didn't help Mocha with leaving, considering I did steal her key. Yeah, there's a lot of things I probably could have done to, like, help her not die. Maybe I'd use this to break into her house? 
oh well, I don't care enough about this game to get all six endings. Matter of fact, I find the idea of that miserable. We're moving on to the next game. It's called Interference Dead Air. I just can't do that. Two hours of uh, Chilla is enough for me. I, this feels like this title might not be fair to this game, uh, but I'm not renaming the stream title. I'm not doing it. I won't do it. These devs are going to walk in and be really fucking confused why I hate their game so much right off the bat. Interference. Dead air. Is there anyone here scared of corn? Because if you're scared of corn, you should get the fuck out of here. Hey, it's Valerie. Duh. Guess you closed up shop early. I suppose you need all the time you can get to pack the one toothbrush and three pairs of socks you've been able to fit in your cabin out there in Nowheresville, Alaska. <laughs> wow, I can't believe we're going to be town mates again. We're yeah, that's epic, Valerie. We'll I don't know who you are. You I'm said duh say, like I'm supposed know, to know I'm who you are, but I swear you have the wrong number. You should be too. I, this, this is the wrong number. In, um, I don't know who well, Valerie is. Arizona. <laughs> Seriously, though, there is a sense of infinite possibility in the landscape some serious inspiration for your script right call me corny but you'll see what don't I say that word did she just say corn <laughs> okay. hr was still a bit concerned that you've never worked a security booth before don't say it away and you're set to start in the new year as planned the curse i trust you to keep us safe <laughs> all right i'll shut up now last night's experiment was an all-nighter so i should uh my phone runs out of space for voicemail in about 30 seconds of consecutive conversation. This person would have been cut off so fucking fast they tried to leave that voicemail on me. Are you serious? You've been with the Barclay Institute for what, three months and that's it? See you later? When were you planning on telling me? Uh... Um, anyways, see you later. I hang up the radio. Huh? Help! Help! I, my mouse left this. I fixed it. Elgato oh got mad. Yeah, I'm not talking to her about that right now. I have no reason to. I don't know her shit. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Well, it's my job to secure this place. So I'm going to take a look. Uh... What the fuck? Is, is that supposed to be the moon? It's fucking bright. Wow, look at this place. Really beautiful. Really makes you think. Wow. Anyways, hang on. Oh! Just don't want anyone being able to eh, break in. So I'm just gonna seal this. There it is. No, hang on. Rotate and bada boom. Perfect. It opens the other way. Shut your goddamn mouth. I knew it. To all personnel from Dr. Olivia Spears, 33188, electrical sickness. The research team has been made aware by medical staff of a marked increase in personnel falling ill with similar symptoms over the past few weeks. After a brief investigation, we've discovered a correlation between the observed illness and the most recent power disturbances. We can assure you that this electrical sickness can be easily treated with and causes no long-term effects. If you begin experiencing headaches, light sensitivity, or visual or auditory hallucinations, or nausea, please report to the medical sector for an evaluation. Oh, Valerie right is busy for me. Totally ah, I forgot to respond to her message! 
spinning for you right now and here to kick off an explosive hour of audacious Austin Frick. is that hot new track from Rose Finch. This is interference. I actually think I fucked the whole story. <laughs> Maybe it won't matter. Maybe Valerie will be okay with it. It's fine. We'll just have a we'll enjoy ourselves. To pick up objects, explore, or work those glutes. Okay. Shut that thing up. I need to stay focused. That'll be fun later. What? All right. You know what? I can really use some fucking coffee. I can, really, I can use some fucking coffee. Ah, it's the. I drink it out of the thing. I love grandpa. This ain't my fucking mug. Ow! Ah, I just cut my fucking hand open! <gasps> oh, fuck! I need first aid! I don't think that guy was supposed to be allowed to go past this uh, road. I think I'm in big trouble. But honestly, I feel kind of sick from the from the banana. Hang on. Shut the fuck I'm up. I'm trying to answer. Besides, who's gonna stop me? The place is a ghost town tonight, except for a few mad scientists. This music is great. I need to shut the hell up so I can hear what the fuck's being said. Thanks, Perry. Over and out. I guess no one wanted to talk to me. Okay. I just wanna watch some VCR tapes. Aliens are real, man. This ain't a film. This is a real event that happened. What's that fucking sound? Thought I heard something. Must have just been the wind. Anyways, I've got the whole place sealed up. No one's getting in here. Ain't no one getting into this place. This place is secure. All right? This place? Secure. Anyways, I'm gonna cook all this metal inside the microwave and explode myself. You can get this in there too. Hang on, we just gotta... There it is. Get the hell in there. Ugh. All right. I put my head really close to the fucking window. Uh, booth B, this is security booth A. Oh, booth B, did I just see you fucking put uh, a bunch of metal in your microwave? Uh, are you good? <laughs> this is booth B, over. Hey, my friend, this is Perry Good over in booth A. You're right. What over. the fuck did you just say to me? What the fuck did you just call me? How could you forget who I am? We've met so many times. Oh, damn. Really? Apologies, my friend. That one's on me. Yeah. Uh, it fucking is. 
<laughs> hangs up. <laughs> yeah, fuck it is. That sucks. Uh, did you need something? Cutting straight to the chase. <laughs> Love it. You might have heard, but Spencer over in Booth C is in my He's dead. And Jen from the central office is giving him the old welfare check. Yeah. Can you do me a solid? Yeah. These power fluctuations knocked loose another sector, and my authorization code's not coming through. I'm gonna walk you through how to authorize a power reroute, if that's cool with you. Once I unlock your terminal, just follow the prompts on the screen and enter the code you get from that annoying phone dude. If okay. The phone rings, that is. All right. You ready, my friend? Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, yeah. Give me a second. Oh, take your time, my friend. Besides. There's something kind of funny about a bunch of lab coats trying to find their way through the Yeah, don't worry. I'll, I'm going to be ready in one second. All right. Your terminal's unlocked. Just follow the prompts on the computer. All right. The fuck am I doing here? I've never done this. Critical power failure. Please pr press spacebar to request reroute authorization code. Yo, Perry, do you say uh, I get stage fright? Oh, oh, oh. On the bottom half of your computer terminal screen, there should be some instructions to follow. Perry, shut the fuck up. You got this, my friend. Okay, I'm currently trying to explode myself. Solved it for me. <laughs> I suck at this game. That was me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just gonna end the shift and restart the game. Uh, I feel like I got in a lot of trouble. I'm gonna restart. It's fine, chat. This time we're gonna do it right. Now that I know that everything's timed, I'll, I'll, I'll actually talk to the people within the time limits, okay? Now that I know. Are you serious? You've been with the Barclay Institute for what, three months? When were you planning on... I'm sorry, I, I, so, uh, sorry, I, I think I'm breaking up, uh. <laughs> Any time would have been better than right now. <sighs> All right, cool. So, now on top of the critical experiment. Abandoning ship. Breaking the news from all the way up to the booth. While we're at work, instead of telling me to my fate. Oh, fuck. Uh... I'd rather eat dirt than spend another second in this chair. Be my guest. You knew this was how it was gonna be. Besides, everyone would rather eat dirt than work at some point. You know True! That. So I don't deserve- give me a break. I, I, I know, but I really think I can find work that makes me happier. Oh yeah, but maybe if I knew what I was guarding, I wouldn't feel this way. Bigfoot. Is that what 
what this is really about? Am I guarding a leprechaun? Or like Bigfoot or like some alien? So I'm the one who's gonna have to answer for it when the door hits you on the Tell way. Tell me, Valerie! How many times do I have to thank you for providing me with this life-changing opportunity? Uh, but being left in the dark makes it hard to feel attached to this job. I know, and I hope I can tell you someday about everything that goes on here. Is it a chupacabra? Day, it'd be great if you could just trust me when I tell you you are important. Yeah, well, I don't fucking I don't trust know, you. Sir. Okay, that was mean. I'm gonna turn it back on. Tell me now I'm leaving tomorrow. <laughs> Do you really wish that? Oh fuck, I really should have caught that dialogue. Uh Oh, we uh I'm um, uh there's a uh, there's a uh, there's some kind of squirrel chewing on the fucking electrical line. I'm going to have to get I, I'm going to get out there and uh I wish we could just change places for one day. Great movie. But you're not getting out of this one by quoting Freaky Friday. And I'm serious. Sometimes I just want simplicity. It's not quite the right word. I have to get back to work. Let's continue this later. Okay. Welcome back, my righteous radio ravers. You're totally tuned into KZRU. No one fucking asked you, as far as you, radio DJ. It's been for you right now, and here to kick off another explosive hour of audacious ostinatos is that rose bitch number you know and love. This is Interference. Guys, I'm gonna fucking cook this fart. <laughs> I'm, gonna fuck, I'm gonna cook this. I'm gonna cook it, dude. I'm fart. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna cook the fucking microwave fart, dude. Find the code. My fart's done! <laughs> yes, man! Oh, I, I gotta solve this. I don't know how to... I don't know how to... I don't know how to do it. How do I? Uh, what do I? I don't know what I'm. How do I? I don't know what, but I. Uh, but I'm. I don't know. Uh, um. Uh -huh. Oh, I ruined it. We don't need that shit. There's only one thing I trust in this world. All right, and it's my eyes. Test, Fuck, I think they caught me. Anyone now I gotta turn them back on before someone notices. He in, but I can't get a hold of them. And we've got lights out over in sector five. Over. Hey, Jen Perry here. I haven't heard a peep, my friend. Shut the fuck up. Remember that really schlocky sci-fi movie we watched sophomore year at Ben's? Look what I found playing on TV late, late last night. Maybe this will help you make your shifts less boring. You can talk to me, you know. What, really? Damn. 101 tasteless jokes for the working man. Well, hey, Chet. What's the difference between your job and your wife? We don't get any of the punchlines here, so it's just the questions. <laughs> Why did the blonde secretary... Put a salami on the boss's desk. An accountant, a salesman, and a factory worker walk into a strip club. You guys want to see something funny? Slash me turns on Mike. Slash me turns on Mike. <laughs> J 
Potato skins. What the fuck was that? I heard a knock. Do I get a gun? We had being back in the booth after what happened last week. That night started out normal. I put the TV on, some old movie, turned the radio on too at some point because the movie was boring. Then at like 2 a.m. the lights flickered. I noticed. But it didn't seem that strange until they flickered again and went out. Nothing I could do, so I sat around and waited for somebody else to fix it. After a while, the CSO came to check on me. And when he came into the booth, he said, Hey, what's that song? I thought he meant something on the radio, like it had come back on. But then he grabbed me by the shoulders, hard. He looked at me dead in the eye and asked if I was okay. And you know what? When he did that, I realized I was humming. Booth B, but this is security booth A. Come in. Over. Yeah, uh, yeah, copy that. Is Booth B, go ahead, over. Hey, my friend. This is Perry Good over in Booth A. What's up, Perry? You're... Right? Over. Uh... Yeah, Perry... Or Perry? Perry, is that your fucking name? Perry? Yeah, I'm, uh... I... I guess I'm that. I don't know, I don't really like how you said that. Is all... I... I don't know. It, uh, can you just say again? Who's asking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you too, Perry. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you too. Check it. See how you like it. Oh wait, hang on. What do you say? That's heavy. Sorry about that. Shut the f Anywho, I can talk until your dang fall off. Up. But duty calls. You might have heard, but Spencer over in Booth C is MIA. And Jen from the central office is giving him the old welfare check. Can you do me a solid? These power fluctuations knocked loose another sector. And my authorization code's not coming through. I'm gonna walk you through how to authorize a power reroute, if that's cool with you. Once I unlock your terminal, just follow the prompts on the screen and enter the code you get from that annoying phone dude. Yeah, I, I, I can't imagine there being an annoying phone dude. You got a lot to say, you know that, Perry? You got a lot to say on this job, Perry. Yeah, give me one second, Perry. Oh, take your time, my friend. Besides, there's something kind of funny about a bunch of lab coats trying to find their way through the dark. <laughs> yup. Hello? Welcome to the Perry, I hung up on you by accident. Perry, I fucked up. Perry? Oh, fuck. Perry? Perry? I fucking turned off the whole computer. It takes like 30 minutes for this thing to restart. Perry, I fucked up. It's 8345. Ban that person for life. But also... Frickin' power buttons right next to the enter key. Why are they designing a computer like that? Weird. Just what the fuck? Perry, stop fucking calling me! How fucking scary that sound is! 
authorization codes. That was my grandson's mug. He gave that to me. Don't ban that person for life, by the way, please. I know it's assumed and we never ban people for life here. Just for the record, we never do. Hello? Welcome to the Barclay Institute Automated Phone Authorization System. Your authorization code for Booth B Power Reroute is one six zero seven. If you did not request this authorization one, code, please hang up and call the six, security hotline to zero, file an incident report. Thank seven. you for making security a top priority. Yeah, no problem, Perry. By the way, you haven't seen a ravine rush disc laying around, have you? What the Oh my god! Oh damn. Do you see that smoke? That's over by Spencer's post. Uh, I'm gonna hightail it over there. See what's going on. I think Spencer's fucking uh, dead, Perry! Over and out. Okay, you have fun. I'm just gonna drink well, some water. Not really sure what just happened. There seems we're having some technical difficulties. <laughs> but Hanging up on that guy. I hate that guy. I wonder. I, I hope Spencer doesn't come over this way for any first aid, cause uh, my guy, it's fucking February. My guy, it's freaking February. <laughs> that would. That's fucking illegal. <laughs> If, dude, imagine you opening a first aid kit, you need it, and you open it, and it's April Fool's and a fucking old banana in there. You can't even eat this without microwaving it first. Hey, are you there? Please answer me. Oh, God. Please. Hey, I'm here. What's up? Well, yeah, there's some freaking exploded. I think Spencer's dead. <sighs> Thank God you're there. Those, wait, there was an explosion? Yeah. Are you okay? It sounded something like this. <laughs> It sounded sound like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Oh, all well, my legs got freaking blown off. I opened the fucking first aid kit and there was only a banana inside. That's not funny. Someone could be seriously hurt. Maybe it's not funny. You're cringe. <laughs> yeah. Hello? Oh no. In the central lab. Like, this goes way beyond the picketing and protests. The blast doors are engaged, but they're heavily armed, and we're not sure if the doors are going to hold. Hey, Valerie, are you getting we raided? We the security protocols on one of the other doors, but those cultists interrupted our experiment. Cultists? We, I missed a line. Out in the open like this. Valerie, what are you still doing here? I, 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 uh, you need to go. Oh, what about the Valerie? You need to get that research somewhere safe. Go. We can handle the rest of the containment procedure. I don't know what you heard. Williams wants me to get the core research out of the lab, but I can't just... If, if they don't secure everything... I, I can't. I don't... Dr. Spears is... I don't... I don't know what to do. I'm so freaking confused right now. What's happening? I know. I know, okay? I just... Trouble in paradise. Am I right? <laughs> Everyone Dr. goes through this no. at some point in their life, Jack. Yeah, come on. We have everything under control here. Please, go. But... <sighs> okay. So long. And... Thanks for all the fish. What? Great hey Valerie, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm gonna hang up for now, but I swear I will be back as soon as I'm done. Valerie, you there? Valerie?
Okay, I'm gonna assume myself's fine now. I'm gonna go sleep. Good night. And we're back. Through heat waves, dust storms, and random equipment malfunctions, I'll always find my. I don't remember turning you back on. When you turn off a radio, the radio uh, person dies. He's dead now. Wait a minute. Valerie, Valerie, did you only fucking f like record like five minutes of that movie for me? Are you fucking kidding me? I thought you said you record the whole thing for me. What the hell's your problem? Hello, are you still alive? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Sorry, there's a lot to process. Uh, should I call the cops? Dude, you're the security guard. I don't know if you should call the cops. Like, I feel like you just... Don't bother. I think the emergency system calls them automatically. But they stopped coming out here after they were squeezed out of that Jane Doe investigation. Also, there's like three people on the force. I can't imagine they'd make much of a difference. How did this happen? I mean, sure, they've been harassing us for months. I don't know. I missed some of the plot earlier. Research, sending us that weird package with all the scribbling on the outside. But no one thought those... Hippies were capable of something like this. Easy, Valerie. Oh, do I need to reply? Hang on. Kind of sounds like these folks want to work here more than I do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they really want to get in. Can you not? My priority is getting out of here. I wonder if the hallways are clear. Yo, Valerie, you good? That's a big no on that. Yo. I think I'm gonna have to go room to room, but I'm afraid I'll get lost if I try to navigate by myself. Let me think. Hey, there's a map of the facility in your booth, right? Oh, no. I need your help to guide me out of here. Get me to an exit. Just maybe what? not that one those cultists are meeting at. The, the fuck? Harvest, I think they said? Anyway, room to room. Capiche? Okay. Yeah. Where are you supposed to be? Uh, I better reply. Okay, I got it. Awesome. I think. I suppose you'll need to know where I am. I'm in, uh, room 408. I think that's an administration. Okay. Maybe you can use a spare push pin to keep track or something. I'll give you a sec to find where I am on the map. Okay, I found it. Yeah, she's so dead. Are you good? Yeah, hang on a second. I'm gonna make a cup of coffee before we start this, or I'm just gonna you're gonna die. I'm just telling you. Just give me a second. You know where we have our coffee filters? I'll try my best. Well, that instills me with a ton of confidence. So, looks like there are doors in every direction, and I know the east door leads back to the central lab. I don't want to go that way. So which direction do I need to go to start making my way to an exit? Uh, oh boy. Um, your depends on which exit you want to take. Uh, I guess you want to go west. <laughs> go east. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no way she listens if I tell her that. Go west. All right. I'll be right here, uh, carefully waiting for you. Oh, look at the size of that fucking carp. Wow. Huh. I really hope the others are okay. Yeah, they're probably I dead. Left them. Oh, hang on. She wants comfort. She wants me to like comfort her. Uh, 
Look, you did the right thing. They're probably already harvested. <laughs> I wanted to stay, but Valerie, did you not hear what they were saying? They've already been harvested. A couple floppy disks full of research data and blood samples. We both know it was out of self-preservation. Really. Uh, listen. Dr. Williams told you to leave. If anything, you were being selfish by doing what you needed, what they needed you to do. Whatever it is that keeps her from That's snapping okay. like a twig That's and running okay. into the harvesters. Forget it. I can't think about this right now. Are you going west? I need smoke. Maybe I shouldn't have taken a smoke. Yo, Valerie, you dead? All right, I made it to the next room. Oh. It seems like the power is unstable. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I'm just trying to light a small fire in my basket right now. Give me a second. <laughs> yeah, I hear ya. Great. The lights were flickering like when we'd run those photophobia tests. I hope those cultists don't. Never mind. I I need to keep moving. Uh, agreed. Here we, I'm gonna give you the next place you have to go, okay? Much appreciated. <clears throat> Which way? East. <laughs> Just keep going west. I, I, I feel like west is pretty solid. Right? She just doesn't want to go to central. Just keep going west. Yeah, go east. Let's go west. That'd be fine. Should I have opened it? I'm gonna keep that closed. Hold on a sec. I think I hear some cultists nearby. I'm gonna hide out in here until they pass. Okay, I'm gonna be eating snacks. <sighs> oh. Stop. <laughs> Never. workers don't come in on weekends. They're gonna crunching on batteries over here. When they see the mess in here. And when they see what I did to the stapler. Hey, Valerie, can you focus more on surviving and not dying? I don't hear anyone Like, focus anymore. up. You're acting like an idiot right clear. now. Found it. Oh, yeah. Easy. Mars. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm good at this. Oh, shit. Valerie? 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 Mm. Ow! Fuck! Okay. <laughs> I should lie low for a bit though before moving on. Okay. However, I heard can't have gotten too far yet. Dang. I want to mention how incredibly glad I am that you're here. I don't know what I'd do without you. And not just now, you know. I mean, not saying my whole world would shatter into a million pieces if you skipped town, but, well, I'd be very sad. Oh, also, my shift is over. I don't even know how to play basketball. I know it wasn't exactly tactful of me to drop that news on you so suddenly. I didn't mean to upset you. I know that. I'm just trying to keep Valerie chill. I'm not trying to 
guilty because like it. she's having like a big day yeah, right now. Right. My mind's a bit all over the place. Let's forget it. Oh, my bird's done. Birdie. Oh fuck. Uh, y we can talk about it later. Hopefully we can, but. Yep, don't worry. You're my number one priority. We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna get you out of there. I'm already checking the map on where you might be going next. Are they open right now? 11 a.m. to 2 a.m.? Fuck yeah. Ah, uh, fuck. Hang on. Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, just go. Just keep, um. Yeah. No, wait. Don't, um, go, um. Oh, fuck. You're gonna wanna go uh, west again. Sounds good. I'll go that way. Chat, I, I think she's stupid. So the problem is, she's never gonna take a hallway. So really, she can never leave from that one. So I have to send her all the way to two. Because she doesn't know how to take a hallway. you what we've been researching here it might help you help me to have a better idea of our situation besides if i'm right about what those cultists are after it's not like we can ever go back from this ndas be damned it's just not something that's easy to explain okay so valerie bear with me valerie so i can't imagine valerie? how you react i didn't ask what she she's she picked back up the line <laughs> i what Huh? What? Huh? What? All right, everyone, be cool. Power's out. What do we? Well, well, what do we do? Well, well, what do we... What do we do? I don't have power. Oh, God, it's just like when I lose power in real life. I just don't do anything. I kind of just sit around and, like, twiddle my thumbs. Lily. What's this? In the library. Something, something, fuck. It sure is quiet out there tonight. The kind of night where you can get lost in the hypnotic hums of the desert dunes and just detach, drift, to go dance among the dreams, leaving brilliant trails. Shut of up and feel the rock. Within is what I would say if I was one of those new age esoterics. Peace and quiet isn't what I'm here for, so what do you say we kick things up a notch? Amen. Hey man, Hello? where's my banana? I didn't eat it. Oh shit. Valerie? What happened? Are any of us really here? <laughs> Valerie, are any of us really here? <laughs> Holy shit, comedian extraordinaire. Look, we don't have a lot of time. What I was trying to tell you before, I'll get to. But for now, you need to just trust me. There's an, um, animal. On the loose. Those monsters must have let it out because I can hear it prowling around. Are you with me so far? Ah, uh, yep. An animal. Sure. Yes, an animal. So, the thing with this animal... Okay. It ...collects EMR, uh, electromagnetic radiation, in a sort of photosynthesis. Uh, am I in danger? ...energy to destructively interfere or uh, um, cancel out various bands of the electromagnetic spectrum. Including the portion of light that we can see. Does that make sense? What? Yep. The electrohydrosynthesizer encapsulates this spectral ray. What else is new? Whatever. I've never had to describe this to anyone outside the lab. Never mind all the technical garbage. It draws electrical power to, and this is the important part, make itself invisible. It's a cloaking mechanism. Am I freaking dead? I need to. The power disturbances happen I need a snack. Activated. 
I need a snack. Just restored full power to the facility to encourage it to, uh, well, hunt. Am I gonna get freaking eaten? Shit. Yeah. I think you should be able to use that power reroute software on your computer terminal to track what sector it's in. Look for complete outages. Do you see anything on your... Sector 1 just fucking died, actually. Oh my god. I think it's in the room next to me. But I thought cultists were in the room next okay. to me. This thing's strength is also its weakness. I really, really hope this works. But if you can reroute the power to this sector and get the lights back on, it might become disoriented and flee. Okay. I'll have you know this took me a little while last time. Hello? I think it's Shut the, the shut the fuck up. Are you able to get the power? Shut the fuck up. Like actually shut the fuck up. Code four, boost B power reroute is six, six, three, four. If you did not request the authorization code. Valerie, I think I'm- Oh, she can't hear me anyways. I think I just got blasted by, like, I, I fucking actually got sent back in goddamn time. Oh, I fricked up. I fricked up. I'm underselling the place, honestly. Barclay is amazing. I made a big Thanks mistake. Down. Oh, hi, Dr. Spears. I hope you had a Valerie! great- Valerie! Good to be back. <laughs> Valerie. Late to lab prep, just showing our new security guard here the ropes. What was I saying? Valerie. <laughs> oh yeah, we just got a DNA sequencer, the AB370A, which I know probably means nothing to you because, well, why would it? <laughs> but this whole facility is state of the art. Someone left one Granada. Of security team is fucking fired. I'll tell you that much. I know for a fact somewhere in this flashback I get to report his ass. All right, yeah, I'm keeping that. One's fucked. Maybe that's you. That can't be me. They put you in booth B, right? That's the delivery checkpoint, and between you and me, you got one of the better security shifts. The nights are quiet. You can really soak in the atmosphere. It hasn't been quiet, actually. I've been hassled all night. And your vagabond. I've been hassled all night. Is that a word? Oh, I've got a walkie-talkie. Technically, it's for emergencies only, but I'm sure no one will mind if I uh, appropriate it. If I could light up my gab line gab and make it so I can't hear any of the other security wings. Did I just say gab sesh? Yeesh. <laughs> Whatever. Yeesh! You're gonna do great. We're gonna do great, really. I promise. This game's dialogue makes it feel like they wanted to go for like a kind of like Firewatch style thing, but there's no like, there's no like real, I have no connection with the character. Wow, just, wow, it's gone. That was close. Valerie. Fascinating, you know, from a scientific standpoint, but way too close. Yo, Valerie, listen to this. <laughs> thank you. You saved my life. Seriously, thank you. What a rush. <sighs> All right, I'm ripping off this band-aid. That thing, it's an alien. Shut up. Space, source unknown, John Carpenter, Keelopet Nightmare Hell Monster. <sighs> Holy shit, that feels good to say. And it blew up all those people over there? And am I going to fucking die? You enlisted me to come, like, work at a security place for aliens. And why didn't you say that before tonight? I wanted to, but, well, a few thousand NDAs signed in blood begged to- Oh! Oh, so you, so you were under NDA when you suggested I work here as a security officer for your alien. 
Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I should be, oh, oh, my bad. You were under NDA when you enlisted me to work in security here. E.T. phone home. <laughs> it sure would be. Your de aliens aren't real. I mean, it's pretty cool, I guess. May it be so that in the annals of history, under a decadent illustration depicting an intergalactic peace treaty between dominant species of two completely You know what I actually think? There shall lie an inscription. This game is too wordy for the urgency of her apparent situation. She's apparently being hunted by aliens and the cultists, and she has time to actually go on this whole spiel. She's very chatty for someone in in uh, imminent danger. Well, I mean, oh my, this guy, this is, this, this is the most fun. This dude's down bad, dude. This dude. Is it, is it, is it hot? Like, is it hot and single? Is it hot? Is it hot? about to get killed by it by the way because it wasn't next door ramble much valerie <laughs> sorry well no i'm not let's pick this up later when i get out of this place anyway curly the um alien curly you well, named the back. alien uh, curly come back. you named You'll it fucking curly how close it is to me with your computer so just be ready on those keys for your big solo <laughs> or power yeah rebrow? you got it valerie as soon as i order pizza <sighs> Five, 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 three, six, six. Next direction, please. Seven, eight, two. Oh, I fucked it up. Uh, oh shit. Uh, uh, fuck. Um, right now she's okay. She's gotta go north. Go north. Works for me. Remember, keep checking that power grid, especially if you notice any fluctuations. I. Really don't want any surprises. Yeah, don't worry. You're gonna be fine. I, like I am here. laser focused. Except I don't have a flamethrower. So, five, five, three, six, six, eleven, you know eighty-two. The drill. Phone doesn't fucking work. Uh, B, this is Perry. Perry. Perry, you're alive, life, Perry. That's it. <coughs> that explosion, though, still don't have eyes on what caused it, even with the binocs. Uh huh. Whatever spewing's a bit further past the hills, maybe off of one of the service roads. I can see on Spencer's terminal here you just authorized the power reroute, so I know you're home at least. Everything cool? Yeah, everything's cool, Perry. Uh, Perry. There's an alien loose in the facility. And... No, I don't want him to actually be calling me or, or like, Valerie's gonna fucking die. I'm gonna tell him everything's fine. Just lie to him. I'm gonna lie to my coworker. Sure you haven't heard anything? I got a funny feeling in my bones. We got a nine there and a four there. Well, your bones are wrong. Gaslight him. I'm gonna gaslight him really hard. Sure what to make of it all. Huh. You know, the mind goes to strange places sometimes out here at night. And this whole situation over here is a touch eerie. Yep. Jen and Spencer probably just went to check out whatever exploded. Oh, that's probably them right now. What's that painted on the side of the... Oh, nope, nope, not them, not them, cultists, cultists with guns, cultists with guns, damn, okay, uh, I've talked myself out of plenty of sticky situations. Perry? Uh, okay, uh, don't really have a... <laughs> hey, my friends! 
Perry is dead. Perry's gonna die. That's too bad. That really, it really is. You see, I'm gonna do the nice thing and just open this preemptively. So if the cultists show up, they won't fucking kill me. They'll just... Okay, well, I couldn't even have stopped that if I wanted to. So how the fuck are you gonna blame me for that one? I did find it. I need to find one more freaking. Oh, you I get that no fun feeling that life is just flying at you like a freight train. Just one thing after another until before you know it, you're looking back, brain boggled, and wondering where all that time went. Every day of my life, well, man. Don't despair, my far out friends. I'm the conductor of this here tune train. And I say it's time to temper the tempo and treasure the tubular times we've had. Focus on that now and savor that flavor. All aboard, if you Yep. Chugga, chugga, choo choo. Yep, dude. Edge, I feel you on that one, man. One foot in front of the other, and voila! I made it. I must be close, right? I feel like I've gotta be. I can taste it. Did I even update where the fuck she was? Oh, no, I didn't. I think she's at 108. Hey, uh, you're close, definitely. I knew it. Hey, do you know where the last number for the code on the safe is? I can't fucking find it. Oh, what's this? Weird. Uh, yeah, what is it? Uh, go north again. All right, I'm on it. Yep. Oh, do you have service and a real functional phone? Because mine's fake and I wanted to order pizza. I mean, one of us might as well. Who would have thought this is where we'd be? Okay, just ignore I mean, me. It's, uh, it's whatever. When we first met at Ben's Halloween party, you were wearing the worst Godzilla costume I'd ever seen. And I... Yes! Oh, God. That was the year. Oh, <laughs> Valerie. Uh, I'm going to need you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> And you're going on and on about how I fucking hung up. Of She's dead. I accidentally hung up because I couldn't fucking hear them because Valerie was talking. Oh, Valerie. Oh, Valerie. Good news is it's just sector six. Hey, I made that Godzilla costume by hand. Hey, Valerie, you're in deep danger. And it showed. You're in deep you fucking danger right now. You didn't even paint it. You know, I never told you how nervous I She's was gonna to die. To you. I didn't really know how to talk about movies to someone who studied them. I thought mise en scène was a type of cheese, for God's sake. I was sure you'd be all high and mighty and pretentious, which, well, let's be honest, you kind of were. But you were also really nice to me. Uh, damn right I was. I'm a good guy. Where the fuck is that thing? Oh, fuck. Oh, she has nothing more to say. Alright, I need to quietly save her life. Oh, boy. Hello? Welcome to the Barclay Institute Automated Phone Authorization System. Your authorization code for Booth B Power Reroute is zero, three, zero, two, Thanks. Fixed it. Valerie will live. Do you hear that? Hello? Who's there? There's someone in this room. I, I, I that wasn't on the help. fucking map. Please, 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 I need help. He sounds really hurt. Oh, please. I, I don't want to be alone. I'm here. Valerie, do not talk to that guy. He's a psycho. You'll get yourself killed or worse. Oh, fuck. What the fuck do they even want from me right now? Uh, what the hell are you doing? It could be a cultist. Ignore him. Don't fucking talk to that guy. And what if it's not? And what if it is? I'm coming over. And what if it is, Valerie? I'm running out of things to break. That ain't the sound of a fucking kid. That's the sound of a fully grown man torn wide open. Oh boy. I need to apply some pressure to 
If he's torn all the way open, he's dead, Valerie. Get the fuck out of there. My fucking... My, hang on, my food's done. I didn't put any in it. Fuck. I want biscuits. Told you he was some cultist. Oh hell yeah! I found my banana. One of the scientists, aren't you? What's your name? Valerie, you're gonna have to slit his throat. You're gonna have to fucking kill. Do not give him your goddamn name. I need you to think of something happy. What's your favorite um flavor of ice cream? Ice cream? Rocky Fuck. Road. I, I, I haven't had it in so, so long. Hey, hey, great choice. Oh, I ain't gotta let it charge more. I'm a rum raisin fan myself. Oh, the dissenter foretold that this night would be beautiful. All of us together, but, but where? Dude, this, the dissenter? You fucking sided with a guy named the. <laughs> named the dissenter? Valerie, do I have to be on the line for this? Valerie. <laughs> do I have to be here for this? Hang on, I'm gonna fart on the line. I can't reach it! No, I can't reach it! Ah, oh, well. It's eyes. It's eyes. Oh shit, I forgot there's still a security thing. He's gone. I'm hanging up on her. I have to answer this and do this right. Welcome to the Barclay Institute Automated Phone Authorization System. Your authorization code for Booth B Power Reroute yeah. is six eight six. Four. She's out of power! If you did not request this authorization code, please hang up and punch it! Valerie, you alive in there? Poor kid, had no idea what he was getting into. It sounds like. Hey, Valerie, did the lights go out? Okay, I'll just hang up. Okay. Yeah, I'll just hang up then, Valerie. <laughs> All right, good luck in there. Good fucking luck. Can't even get my banana out. Oh, now it's gonna be double cooked. Okay, uh, Valerie, <laughs> I'm trying really hard to be an unlikable character. Uh, trying really hard. Is she done? Is her minute done? Now. Tell me which way to go. Oh, I'm sorry. You actually, it's gonna be another 30 seconds. You asked for a minute, not fucking 25 seconds, Valerie. I'll be back. She just watched a kid die? Yeah, and then she took it out on me. Uh, like a fucking idiot. The person who is, um, I don't know, the only reason she's alive right now. Kind of a bad call. Direction when I ask for one. Oh! I'm going east. Well, that's good because that's the way you should fucking go in the facility that you should know the layout of this whole time. That's good. She figured it out, chat. Good for her. She doesn't even need my help. You're kind of an asshole, though. Shut up! I don't... Am I about to get fucking killed? Why'd this music just drop? Oh wait. Just a fucking radio, I'm fine. Where is that last fucking... code? 
There's one more. F I need one more number. <clears throat> I feel like I, have, I technically have enough to brute force it. But the problem is the fact that I don't know which digit goes where means it'd be a long process to brute force it. Oh. One. Nine. Where's the last one? One, nine, four. So it's one, nine, four, five, four. We'll do first. Wow. All right. One try. I'm here. Next. Oh my God. Uh, did I already set chat? Did I send her to what? Did she go to one Oh two? Or did she not yet? I'm gonna tell her east. She did. Go east again. She's in 105? That doesn't matter. Either way. Oh, actually, I fucked up. Well, if she's in 105, then she's fine. They just send her north after this. To 101. She's gonna die in a second, though. She's gonna die in a second. Welcome to the Barclay Institute Automated Phone Authorization System. Your authorization code for Booth B Power Reroute is six. Six. Zero. Zero. Four. Four. Seven. Seven. If you did. Now it's time to play around with these toys. Yo, there we fucking go, brother. Here we fucking go, brother. 4.5% alcohol volume, brother. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Found a found the stash, brother. Here we go, brother. God gave me two hands, so why stick to just one beer? Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. The buzz kills back. You need to go north. Okay. Would you like another direction? Okay, I'm gonna get back to having fun. Oh my. Hello? My colleagues? Are dead. Dead. Yep. I just tried to save one of their murderers, and he thanked me as he bled out on the floor. This isn't the same place. I barely even know where I am. There's Read nothing. The VHS left. Back. No career. No purpose. Nothing. No Lady. Oh, so it's okay when- it's okay for you to get all pissy and get all short with me when I tell you to move on. But then you're willing to give me a- you're willing to talk about this this whole time? Just get the fuck- Valerie, get the fuck out of here. And you. Oh? Blindly trusting you this whole time because I had no choice. I've been relying on you. You're about to get hung up on is what you're gonna get. In the hands of- who? Who are you? Are you the person I met at Ben's Halloween party? Because that person would have talked to me before they made the decision to leave. Does that sound like you? My best friend? Hovering over or turning it off. Hovering. This might be I the most unlikable, right really like, feeling. character I've had to talk to so ever long, in a video game. You've just been unpredictable. I'm racking my brain trying to figure this out. And the only thing I could possibly think of is... You want to go north? Me for convincing you to move out here? Go north, Valerie! I don't even know what the. I, I, <laughs> no, that's not it at all. I don't blame you for anything. The SS bullshit is coming into port. I'm escalating. Because I'm not going anywhere. Turn off your radio or shovel that bullshit. Those are your choices. Hi. Bye bye. <laughs>
Best of luck, Valerie. <laughs> I'll see you later. Holy heck. Finally. We can finally drink a beer. Oh, hell yeah. We got the key to the drawers. Ah, oh, yes. I don't really know what I did wrong. Yeah, up until, uh... Actually, matter of fact, no, the whole time up until that last part, I don't really know what I did wrong. So I'm just gonna go home. Pretty sure I can just use this to leave. I can just find where the freaking keyhole is. Oh no, the power's out where she is. Oops. I think the creature's gonna come kill me too. thought there'd be a more satisfying cessation yeah i suppose we did drop the ball on that a bit tonight i get i suppose you that's did the beauty of radio these waves aren't going anywhere. <laughs> i guess you so did there's always a chance to try again to rectify our missteps and be a part of the change we want to see but listeners until that fateful time comes and i'm with you again i bid you an adoring adieu the night belongs to you now for better or for worse Yo, my banana's fixed! Good ending, chat. Good ending. I fixed the banana, baby. We got the good ending. Tie up any loose ends before officially ending my shift. I don't think I have any loose ends. I can't think of anything. Dude. All I want is a good single, like, is more stuff like Signal Simulator and, like, security booth style games. But holy shit, Valerie was a full-on fucking sandbag on this. <laughs> the best part of the game was every moment she specifically wasn't talking. And it's not even, like, it's nothing to do with, like, it's literally, like, there wasn't enough time ever to read all the dialogue and things that related to her in the booth. There was like no like time to read any of the letters or anything like that. There wasn't, there's was truly not enough time. The game wants you to have like multiple endings and like do other things. But like, I was given no time to attach myself to any of the characters. And then like around the same time, I was finally like, maybe I should care about Valerie. She just fucking like took a dump on my character. And was like, you suck and I hate you. And I, I'm mad at you for like being more concerned about me than this kid who died. That's a cultist that killed half of my staff members. I'm like, I'm sitting here and like, I don't fucking know. Like, how the fuck am I? It was condensed Firewatch. Yeah, it was kind of like condensed Firewatch, except the worst part of Firewatch was how condensed it was. You know what I mean? Like, that's objectively the worst part of Firewatch is how condensed it is, especially at the end. Like, the, like, truly. That's the downside of Firewatch, is that it's condensed. Dude, the only fire I watched was the living garbage fire Valerie was. <laughs> oh, true. Honestly, it would have been okay, I think, if Valerie had shut the fuck up more often. I think she talked too much. I think she talked too much and sometimes saying less is more in a game like this and she was like genuinely like trying to do like quips and like have fun and it didn't make there should have been more time between the start and the explosion and like the whole cultist break-in there should have been way more time there should have been like another half an hour of like being allowed to sit around and like just talk to people on like the team because I felt like I was, I felt like the game was like speeding. Like the pacing was so bad that like every time Valerie was talking, I was trying, I was concerned about like, oh, this person's got to live and they're like talking and then Perry fucking died too. They did nothing but Perry with Perry and then they fucking kill him or something.
for a game called Dead Air. <laughs> sure did a lot of talking. Yeah. I mean, you did gaslight him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess Perry did die as a direct result of me. That one's my bad. You know, chat, when it's my bad, it's my bad. I don't know what else to say. But I can say this. These were some, uh, I, you know, I'll be fair. Uh, I don't think this game is bad. I just think like I would have had to have like reset like four times to read everything in the room before I actually started caring about like the main plot. Uh, I think that's the main thing. A lot of the observations I think that the reviews have said for this game is like, hey, uh, this, there's a demo for this game out. And in that demo, all of the fun stuff that I like, like fucking around with like items in the room and like throwing stuff around, like playing with things is in that demo. So like the only thing you're paying for is the parts that I didn't like as much is what you're paying for when you buy the game. You're getting the, uh, like, the a narrative that is, like, a little weak. You're paying for Valerie, <laughs> who is just not ideal. Valerie's just not ideal. You know, that's the problem. I don't think it's bad. I just wish there was more focus on, like, the actual security booth stuff. Because there's a better version of this game that exists. And it's that, what what was the name of it? It was like a game where you played as a, as like a Firewatch, like Ranger. And it's not Firewatch. It was a horror game. Uh, and you had to guide these campers away from like the creature in the woods that was trying to kill them. I think it was Do You Copy. Yeah, Do You Copy. That game slapped. That game was this, like, a similar thing where you're guiding someone to safety through, like, a map. And, like, the difference was, like, you were in, like, a Firewatch, like, Ranger Tower. And that was fucking awesome. And free. And free. And it was free. So, you know, that's short, good, didn't need a lot of talking. And I don't know. It's just, like... This game's not exactly long, but I have no desire to play through it again because I feel like I didn't even feel like I picked most of the worst options for dialogue and Valerie went from being cool with me and being fine to like straight up dumping on my character so hard that I lost any and all sympathy for them and just wanted to get the fuck out of there. I tried really hard to play nice. I could have picked the stupid options. I picked one joke option. And then all of a sudden, Valerie went from, like, being grateful that I was saving them to, you always fucking sucked, and you're the worst, and I'm not listening to you anymore. How about you just hang up? And I'm just like, <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. I don't think I did anything wrong. I didn't think I did anything wrong. You picked, like, three, but that was also when she made a joke. Yeah, like, I, 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 I don't know, dude. There's games that do what this game did better. I like the I like having a lot of toys to play with in a room and a lot of interactables and stuff, but like that that's not stuff I pay for. Like that, that I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Final takeaway, it's okay. It's okay. But maybe I just didn't enjoy it as much because I had already gone insane. Maybe it's because I had already lost my mind. Because I had just gotten off of playing a chilla game, motherfucker. Maybe that's the problem. I lost it. I lost my mind. I went straight from chilla to this. There was never a chance. Couldn't even find the orb. But we can all agree on one thing. We had a good time tonight. I had fun. They want these games are fun. The, I think the best takeaway we can have from this is that I paid money for both of these so you could enjoy them and decide for yourself if you want to see the extra endings of them. <laughs> you know, that's that's the fun. Easy refunds. I never, I've never, i never refunded a game I played on stream. And I don't plan to. There's, actually, there's one game I refunded on stream. Two. There was 
the one actually did i even there was a chilla game that i i feel like i refunded because it like straight up like was i, I actually couldn't get through it like it was really bad no i didn't i i rage quit the caregiver i didn't refund it it's still in my library there's only one game I've ever refunded that I turned on on stream, and it was Fall Guys. Because I tried to stream it, and it uh, the servers were down. Uh, so I refunded it live, because I wasn't about to try it. I wasn't going to, like, keep it. I wanted to stream it. That was the only reason I wanted to play it. <laughs> so I refunded it. If the online and an online-only game doesn't work, I refunded it. But, yeah, no. Wasn't there some log simulator game that broke badly? I don't... Just because a game breaks doesn't always mean I'm going to refund it. Uh, Lumberjack simulator, you mean? I actually did refund that one, I think. Wait, what was the name of that? I don't see it when I search it. Lumberjack? I look up lumber and I don't see it. That might have actually been a refund. I may have refunded the wood... Lumberjack Dynasty... I actually think I did refund that one. I think that was, I think I was having a bad day that day and then it broke and then I refunded that. Yeah, that's, I think that's the only other one. It's Fall Guys and Lumberjack Dynasty. Not even Chilla Games can get me to refund, but what can is Lumberjack Dynasty. That's the bar. Okay? That's the bar. That's it. That's the bar. That's when I just snap like a freaking twig can't handle it, man. Just can't handle it. Tomato loves Hello Neighbor. Chat. Look, people meme on Hello Neighbor because it is kind of a steamy pile of shit sometimes, but I still had more fun playing that Hello Neighbor 2 than I have playing a lot, like some other horror games. I'm not going to say a lot, but some. I had, I had more fun streaming that than I did some other stuff. Like, that was a stupid shit game. But I did have fun playing it. Do I think it's worth $40, Hello Neighbor 2? <laughs> no, I'm not so sure about that one. But I'll say this. I thought Hello Neighbor 2 was more interesting to play. Then, let's see, I'm thinking of other horror games I played around that time. Callisto Protocol. Hello Neighbor 2 was a more engaging gameplay experience for me than Callisto Protocol. <laughs> and they're pretty close to the same price! And then we got the Dead Space remake that was better than it. Yeah. 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 True. Callisto Protocol is everyone's pinata. I mean, it's fucking embarrassing. The way Callisto played out. It is. It's embarrassing. Because they did a lot of marketing prep of being like, the masters of horror. The masters of video game horror are making a new one. And then it fumbled hard, and it's like... Damn. If you're gonna claim yourself as the master of horror, you gotta be ready for people to, uh... pick on you for it if you turn out to not be the master. <laughs> you know what I mean? How to make a horror game good interview. That one's the one I remember. Oh yeah, dude. The that was I I saw that before it came like like when the game was still getting close to launch. And I was like, that's gonna be really embarrassing if this game does suck. Huh. There's only one real master of horror, and you all know them. Come on. John Carpenter? No, fuck. Shut the fuck up. It's Chilla.
That really pissed me off that you said that guy, John. Boys, he only has like one game. He has one game, The Thing. And it came out in like 2002. How many games Chilla have? Like 20. And they all came out in the last two years. John can't even figure out how to make another one. Doesn't know how. What about Puppet Combo? What about Puppet Combo? <laughs> I love my quantity horror developers. Puppet combo is the same shit every time. Slash me looks directly at Chilla <laughs> as well. Hmm. <laughs> it's almost. Like if you run a Patreon and are expected to output video games on a schedule, you will likely make very similar games many times in a row. Weird. Though I'll say this. Chilla's games make me fucking laugh and they make me really happy in the sense that they make me smile and laugh. Whereas Puppet Combo's games are, I would say, objectively more scary, but simultaneously don't make me laugh. You enjoy having tinnitus? Yeah, I mean, I don't think anyone's... I, I think that Puppet Combo's games, yes, also do make my ears bleed. It's been four hours, Cell ballin', Jesus be ballin'. Thank you, Cell, for reminding me. Let's fucking go, dude! Woo! We've reached the end of the stream, like a YouTuber ending their video at 10 minutes and one second. Tomatoes, out of here. It's as simple as that, baby. I cashed out, and now I'm done. It's as simple as that, he does it again. He does it again. Finally, he fucks off. Cha-ching! I love it when I'll still see, like, YouTubers that I watch stop at exactly 10 seconds. Like, 10 minutes, one second. Stop it, edit exactly, and I'm just like, damn, they're still catching that 10-minute video meta ads? Is that still even a thing? Because I thought YouTube was, like, pivoting to, like, shorts now and, like, monetizing shorts. YouTube monetizes at eight minutes now. Wild. Wild. Dude, I can assure you of one thing. If YouTube, actually to be fair, I vaguely remember some of my like more recent videos that I did make before I stopped making YouTube videos altogether. It landed much closer to eight minutes than 10. I don't think I did many 10 at the end. I think I like, it really wasn't a concern. And again, it's not like I was making ad money. <laughs> it's not like any of my videos are making any money. So that probably is something. I'll tell Brett to cut the uh, VODs down to eight minutes then. If that's the case. Because, I mean, we're not going to upload the rest of it. Why the fuck would we? It's just a waste of time. We'll just have him... I'll just have him squeeze it down so it's really fast. Yeah, that's what I'll do. All right, chat. Thank you for all the gifted subs and donations and bits. I appreciate it as always. I don't stream on Sundays. I never do. I'll be back on Monday. All right? I'll be back on Monday. We'll have a, a, a nice solid week of streams. I don't think there's pipe dreamers on Thursday either. So uh, probably do something longer that day. Yeah, someone's... Uh Someone's got stuff going on, unfortunately. So Pipe Dreamers is taking a two-week break. Alas. Good spot for it, I guess. For um space travel. Another week off. It's kind of uh important that everyone be present. Otherwise, it would likely be a situation where we'd start moving on. We've gone on when other people have been missing before. But uh kind of important that everyone is present for the next session. So unfortunate, but whatever. Whatever. Alright, 
See you all on Monday, chat. Have a nice Sunday. And I'll catch you later. Goodbye.